And we've got it for you tonight in Stillwater, Oklahoma. College football Saturday presented by Kia Sarah because it has been damp and it has been ugly all day long. If it's 44 degrees, then it almost feels like it must be 75 because it feels more like it's below freezing because of the wind chill. And it's going to be a light mist throughout the course of the evening. So how is it going to impact Josh Fields and Vince Young in hostile territory for Vince Young? as he played so well last week and we'll see chance mock as well but it is going to be the fourth career start for this young man well look at the hand on on vince young he's going to be able to control that football he can wrap his hand around that football that's a mucker right there and, and now josh fields you know vince young 6'5, 225 pound size 14 shoe big hands bigger frame Josh Fields, 6'1", not as big a frame guy, not as big a hands. I mean, if, it, if, if the precipitation becomes a problem and the, and the football gets a little slick, that's something to watch. Well, yeah, this series has been dominated by Texas, but it was very close last year. They only won by two at home, 17 to 15. In fact, a couple of years ago, they pounded Oklahoma State here, winning easily at Stillwater. Last five games, though, it has started to shrink that margin of victory for Texas. Robert Jones is going back deep as Richmond McGee will kick it away. He's been a specialist at putting it out of the end zone. So it's going to be Robert Jones going back for the Cowboys. And also Vernon Morency. Morency over to the near side. Who will get it? And we're just about ready to go. What a matchup of the Big 12. Two seven and two teams. Bowl implications, huge bowl implications. McGee taking the return game right out of it again. Nothing Morency can do about it. And Oklahoma State is going to have the football first and 10 at their own 20 yard line. Kia Sarah's starting 11 for the Cowboys. Young man, we were talking about. He's got maneuverability. He's not that quick, but he does have good footwork. And he's got 16 scores, throwing for better than 5,000 yards on his career. One of only two to do that here for the Cowboys, along with Mike Gundy. Hardison, Aiken, Bowie, Mays, and Hilliard, a group that is going to be challenged, especially watch number 11, Derek Johnson. Bell, second in the nation. Willis in front of him. Woods, his redshirt freshman brother, Dejon Woods. Dewan Woods is out with him, and there's a bullet for a first down right away. It is DeWant Rashawn Woods for a first down across the 35 to the 36. Not a bad beginning brought down by Michael Huff. Well, Texas was going to take away the outside on Rashawn Woods and take away that fade. Rashawn Woods said, OK, you line up and take away my outside. I'll run the slant. And he ran it effectively. And that was a Steve Reich by Fields, who's a heck of a third baseman for the baseball team as well. A future number one draft pick in Major League Baseball, Josh Fields. Don't waste any time from the 36. It is going to be Tatum Bell powering his way for about four. Just across the 39 near the four. Now the defensive 11 for the Longhorns, and they are in total defense 18th in the nation. Crowder, Roderick Wright, Marcus Tubbs, Kalen Thornton. Two guys on the edge can get in there. Could be a good sack day overall. Boyd Harris and Derek Johnson, a Buckus Award finalist, the weak side linebacker. He will be all over the place. Fasher on one corner, Griffin on the other, and then experienced Giger at the strong safety along with Huff, who also has been a quarterback for this squad at the free safety. Fields on another slant. Rashawn Woods again for a first down. They're working it to the middle of the field very effectively. Giger in on the hit, Dave. And once again, Texas by alignment, taking the outside away. Not letting Rashawn Woods release to the outside, taking the fade away. So he's going to work it to the inside. He says, I'll give you the swim, take it to the inside, and runs the slant. I'll tell you, that, that's just very effective heads-up adjustments by Rashawn Woods and, and Fields. On the year, Fields has hit 55% of his passes. You saw the 16 scores. He's been picked off nine times. From the 49, Bell beyond his fullback, very little. Maybe the midfield stripe for a yard. So good stop on first down. And Key's coming in for Oklahoma State. Well, no hangover. That meaning uh, they, they have to get over that Oklahoma loss last week. They can't let one bad week turn into two bad weeks and have it linger here against Texas. Stay on schedule. Avoid tackle for loss. Three and out against this Texas defense. Texas uh, defensively, 34 and a half percent of the time, better than the third of the time. The opposition one, two, three, and punt. And sure tackle. Yards after contact from Benson have to eliminate Benson and Young and run after catch by the receiving core. Just about two minutes in, it's second and long, and it's Tatum Bale. 
Bell breaking a tackle, gets another first down. He ran up the back of the legs of one of his blockers. Crowder got him from behind, but that's why Tatum Bell is so tough. Number one of the Big 12, second in the nation, averaging almost 135 yards a game and 6.3 per pop. And over the last four games, he's rushed for 699 yards. And, and a lot of it is because of this second effort. And he's got the vision to find the open field, and he's got the cutting ability to get there. And if he got there a little bit quicker that time, he may have creased it big, big. And basically, they let Crowder, the, uh, the true freshman defensive end, number 80 in the white jersey we saw, just take himself out of the play by running up the football field. So it's going to be shy by inches. Les Miles thought he had a first down. He's in his third year. He's totally turned around this program. That beaten Oklahoma twice before what happened last week, the 52-9 loss, but everything headed into the right direction. In fact, this is the last time we're going to be in this press box, partner. Exactly. And Les Miles was pursued heavily. Baylor offered him over a million dollars. Michigan State offered him more. He stayed here and signed a contract extension through 2008. So now, short yardage, how about a few inches for a first down? Second best of the Big 12, and Fields uses a very early timeout. So just outside of the 41 of the Longhorns. Longhorns had every gap covered. Fields didn't like what he saw. We'll come right back to see if they can pick up the first down. Third and inches, easy first down on the quarterback plunge. Josh Fields. Got a couple of yards, in fact. That had to be a silent count because Texas Day had seen the late of the reaction. And he just went over the area of, the, of his offensive line and playing the most effectively. Ben Bowie at center, Mays at right guard, 350 pound right guard, and Chris Aiken at left guard. They just creased it. Watch him reestablish the, you know, things at the line of scrimmage, and, and, and Josh Fields just loved it. They've got Fields back for another year. He's a junior from right here in Stillwater. Uh -oh. They said. Dewan Woods in motion. There's movement and a false start up front. Yeah, breaking his stance early uh, was uh, Matt Hardison at left tackle. False start. Offense. Five yard penalty. Still first down. And that's one of the things talked about staying on schedule. Well, you don't want to shoot yourself in the foot and take a five yard penalty and make it first and 15. But if you do it it's better than on third down. No doubt. This Texas defense is hard to complete passes against. They're number one in the country allowing just over 45 percent completion percentage. But Josh Fields has gotten off to a quick start here. Senior from Denver Gabe Lindsay in for the first time the motion man Tatum Bell. He's got a seal on the right side tripped over his own man. If he takes it outside of that block. Yeah. He's got big yardage. He's only got it down to the 40. Gain of about four for Tatum Bell. Yeah, senior I thought, from DeSoto, Texas. I, I thought the same thing, Joel. I thought uh, Terrence Young, the big guard, look at the seal block he gets. He takes his man down. Tatum Bell tries to cut it up inside. I thought if he bounced it with his speed, and that's what Texas is most fearful of, him getting on the edge with that sprinter speed he has. He was the Big 12 player of the week after picking up 238 yards against Texas Tech. He's the single trips over to the near side little bubble screen grab is made. That's Gabe Lindsay inside the 40 down to the 35 and he's short of the first time by about six forced out by Michael Huff. That's a very safe play right there. Josh Fields uh, get his feet on the ground. You notice the passes that that Oklahoma State is throwing quick rhythm quick delivery three receivers. It was almost like a staircase effect the receivers getting their blocks down the football field and they're expecting Need to make the, that one unblocked guy, Michael Huff, miss. And he couldn't quite get it done. Lindsey didn't make a miss, but he got decent yardage. But it's, now it's third and medium. Third and six from the 35. After all the sacks he took last week, you can understand why Dave said they're on a quick rhythm three step drop. Sean Woods in motion. Now, can they pick up the blitz? On the move. Nothing doing for Fields. He didn't have a prayer on that. Just in the general direction of Rashawn Woods, but he tried to avoid the loss. Aaron Harris, the linebacker, in his face. Yeah, he had to throw that away. Texas had it well defended. And the coaching staff, basically, they feel that, that Josh Fields is a lot better in pocket than out of pocket. He's a little stiff in the hips. And for as athletic as he is, and as good a baseball player and quarterback as he is, that's a, that's a little unusual, but he stands in that pocket and, and goes through his mechanics and transfers his weight a lot more easily than on the run. Well, the senior from Tulsa has a long of 50 yards this year. It's going to be a 52-yard try by Luke Phillips. Will it be a fake? Watch the jumpers here. Texas has blocked eight kicks this year. 
Good exchange, plenty of leg into it. Got it. And that's good from 60. Wow. 52 yards for Luke Phillips. And that's where it begins for Oklahoma State. Pretty impressive drive, mixing the pass early with Woods and the run of Bell to get it across the midfield stripe. And Oklahoma State gets on top at home. Just about four minutes gone in the first quarter. Rear, Luke Phillips with a 52-yard field goal. That's a career best that he matches. And our Nissan scoring drive, almost four minutes. 45 yards and Oklahoma State Dave with some early confidence Luke uh, is now 10 of 11 on the season That's pretty darn good efficiency right there Cole Farden is going to kick it away <sighs> Selvin Young waits back deep over to the opposite side though It is going to be taken by Terrell Brown Brown with a crease hit at the 20 going down to the 25 He almost found that lane Marquia Sarah is starting 11 offensively. Vincent Young, he is a gazelle, 6'5", 225. Mentioned Brad Smith. Smith a little bit smaller, but they bring the same thing to their offensive units. Get out on the edge, the speed on the perimeter. Scott Holloway, Glenn, Allen, Blaylock. Experience up front for the big offensive line. Benson behind Matthews. B.J. Johnson, Roy Williams, an All-American at wide receiver, just like for John Woods and David Thomas. Not David Clayton Thomas, but David Thomas <laughs> at tight end. And he's not spinning his wheel. From the 25, it's first and 10. Quick one on the outside. And Roy Williams pulled down across the 27, a gain of only three to the 28. Hard to get an injury with Richmond, is he? Defensively now for Oklahoma State in their 4 2 5. Richmond's got 10 and a half sacks among the nation's leaders Gertman, Coe, and Smith. Smith second in the squad. The other defensive end, DeGreat and Durant, are the two in the middle. Man, five in the secondary. Williams and Jones on the corners. Grant Holland and Elbert Craig. So many teams playing nickel anyway. Oklahoma State just starts in a nickel. And they do, and without a tight end, they may go to a dime. If Texas doesn't employ a tight end, they'll have six. First carry of the night. Cedric Benson weaving his way down the sideline. Big yardage. He's got a first down across the 45 to the 46. Tripped up by Darren Williams out of the secondary. Boy, he froze Elbert Craig. The defensive back on the sideline. Just a just a great move by Benson. Watch him when he gets out on the edge here on the perimeter. Right here. That's the that's the move that he made on, on uh, Elbert Craig. Benson, he's noted for finishing runs. There's no question about it. I mean the guy 54% of his yards after that first hit. He's got a little bit more wiggle to him this year, though. They've got great balance on offense. It's incredible what they've done. Obviously the one speed bump, but it was a major hurdle. That day at the Cotton Bowl, disappointment against Oklahoma. And look at Vince Young go into the secondary. Nice block downfield as he's got another first down. But B.J. Johnson downfield holding his block as it's all the way to the 34 is shoved out by Albert Craig. Well, whenever you have long runs like this and like the 65-yard touchdown against Nebraska, a little fake the counter. To, boy, there was a great fake. Benson almost ripped the ball out of his hands. Then Vincent Young, and there's the block you're talking about with B.J. Johnson. But Vincent Young takes it down the football field, averaging almost nine yards a carry for the season. And this is the first time tandem in, in Texas history to rush for 150 yards in the same game. Benson goes for 174, Young for 163, so and four touchdowns. Two Come carries, on. Dave, all the way from the 25. Movement on the left side of the offensive line as Brad Robin comes into the game for the first time in the backfield. Man, a false start against the Longhorn. Right. Dead ball. False start. Offense. Five yard penalty. Still first down. There is such great support now in Stillwater. It is an awful night. I mean, it's going to be in the mid 30s before too long. Yet, it is a packed house as. The key's coming in for the Longhorns to get to eight and two. Well, they have to withstand the early storm, and that what you're talking about is that crowd, Joel. They're going to be in a frenzy. They've had all day to get ready. They're five and zero at home this year, and six and one last year. Outrush the Cowboys under Mac Brown. They're 45 and zero when Texas outrushes the Cowboys and block Richmond and the Smith boys. Quarterback yes. draw. He breaks the tackle to the line, runs through the arm tackle. They thought they had him right up the gut. He's elusive enough to get close to the 30 yard line. He gets the penalty yardage back again. He's always into the secondary and it makes it look too easy. Yeah, he's effortless, you know, and this this is because of that raw athletic ability. He's got a size 14 shoe on him, 6'5", 225 pounds. He moves like a little guy. That's a big, long body that moves like a little guy. That is just tremendous body control and 
Boy, he can change direction as big as he is. It's incredible. Spread the defense with three wide receivers. Bansu, the only one in the backfield with Young. And it's second and long. Play fake, waiting for things to develop. They got him by the grill. Will there be a flag? No. It must have been the front of the jersey. And what an open field play on a quarterback that's tough to get to by Antonio Smith, the left end, the senior from Oklahoma City. He is second on the squad with five sacks. That was a running play, so he doesn't get a sack just to tackle for a loss. He'll take it anyway. Uh, there's no doubt about that. And, and that's what these defensive ends are doing. Not only sacks, but Greg Richmond's got 17 tackles for loss. Antonio Smith has six tackles for loss. Kareem has six tackles for loss. So one of those keys for Texas was blocking those bookends and not letting them be that disruptive. So right out of field goal range with that drop. Brad Robin in the backfield. Along with Benson. Third and a dozen. Pressure on the edge. They get him again. He throws it up for grabs and it falls incomplete. What a job in the backfield. Elbert Craig getting the quarterback off the edge. And, and Oklahoma State is going to blitz readily. They feel that they have to blitz Vince Young to get him out of rhythm. Look, they're showing a few things. Then they're going to walk out. And then here it comes. And here comes Craig unblocked off the edge. And look at him choke it down and, and make sure that Vincent Young doesn't fake him out and avoid him. That was almost a big mistake to just throw that ball up for grabs like that. Gabe Lindsay at the 10 waiting for the punt. I don't think you'll see anything from McGee, though. He'll try to push it out of bounds. Sends it over to the near side boundary. And a fair catch is called for, in fact. So Lindsay back there taking it in cleanly. And Oklahoma State deep in their own territory starts at the 10, but they're up by three. We are just about six minutes into the game and a long field coming up for the Cowboys against a defense that is sixth best in the nation against the pass. Well, our Bank of America higher standards back to the Vin Jung last week for Texas. Tatum Bell popped right at the line. Now what a hit by Derek Johnson. Who right at the 10. Hello. Yeah, Derek Johnson, his uh, four interceptions. He's recovered three fumbles. Just a big play player. And that time he just filled. He came downhill, made a great read, and disrupted. On that touchdown run by Vince Young, did you see the block that Roy Williams threw? He blocked two defensive backs down the football field. So Roy Williams not hanging his uh, chin on his chest about not throwing the football as much. He's bought into this running game and the effectiveness of it because it's winning Texas football games. Two to the wide side of the field on second and ten. Little counter action on the waggle. Fields with a bullet, and it's intercepted. Picked off down the sideline. Selvin Young, and except make that Vasher rather, taking it all the way down with a flag at the end of the play, but a first and goal it should be. Now we'll find out about the flag. Yeah. Nathan Vasher, the senior from Texarkana, Texas, second team all Big 12 or last year, timed it perfectly on the route. He really did. Great route recognition and break on the football. That's his fifth interception of this season. And he's a big time player. And Fields just staring it down and, and just a tremendous break on the football. Rashawn Woods is his primary target, of course. And in coverage is Vasher. Illegal block on the return is going to cost Texas some field position. He got into it with Tim Crowder. I hope Crowder's okay. Boy, I'll tell you, that was just a... Vasher turned himself into the primary receiver. Or make it Roderick Wright. Helmet to helmet collision with his own teammate. So they mark it off against Texas. Take a look at... Vasher's got man coverage here. He's got man, and the safety's helping over the top. But Vasher's got him. And Vasher reads the route and breaks to the point, knowing where the football is going to be thrown. The route recognition was extraordinary. He turns himself into the primary receiver. Rashawn Woods can't reverse rolls quickly enough and play defensive back. Benson in the eye. The pitch on the edge and good blocking outside for Cedric Benson inside the 10. Doesn't get there, but first and goal all the way inside the three down to the two. Nice block by Roy Williams on the edge again. You know, Roy is 6'4", 210 pounds. And let's take a look at Roy Williams' feet. That's a size 16 shoe right there on Roy Williams. Incredible. This is nothing. Fake the, fake the dive and then run the pitch. And on the edge. Look at look, look working down the field. Look at Roy working. Keep on working. Pretty good effort. Guy that's going to be very good at the next level. We know that. Size 16 shoes right there. Look at the hooks on that man. And now Benson. 
up the middle instead. Nothing there for Will Matthews, the fullback. They push him back. And will they give it to him? No. Yes, they do. They finally say touchdown, Texas. Will Matthews, the junior from Austin's Westwood High School, into the end zone. Not Cedric Benson for a change. And Nathan Vasher behind his coach on the sidelines, the one that set it up with that big interception, short field. Turnovers are always huge in a, in a tightly contested and good matchup football game like this one is. Let the big dog eat, give the fullback a carry. I was going to say, you could see the reaction by his teammates. <laughs> yeah. like, nice to see you get there for a change. Exactly. Reward that big dog. Mangum for the point after. And a 7 to nothing lead, so points off a turnover right away. And make it 7-3, to three, of course, but points off a turnover immediately thanks to the pick by Nathan Vasher. One of the best defensive backs in the game. Vasher set it up. Will Matthews cashed in from two yards out. And Texas coming in just like Oklahoma State at 7-2, and two, the number 11 team in the nation. With an opportunity to move up. Miami lost again earlier today. McGee kicks it away. Marenzi is going to take it at the two. Up the left side, nice lane. Through the arm tackle, across the 30 in great field position. For Oklahoma State, they'll have it near their own 32 as they put it into play for the third time tonight. Let's join the third member. Side, he had a safety over the top, and his, uh, his technique worked perfectly. That's a huge play. You notice the abuse he gives. I mean, mascots everywhere we go. I'm telling you, Knox, he, he can jam you now. He'll, he'll get up and bump and run on you. Tatum Bell, short yardage on first down. A yard, and that is it. Roderick Wright, the other knee tackle making the stop. Nissan scoring drive. It was a short one, 19 yards. With the two-yard score by Will Matthews. And Matthews getting into the end zone for the first time this season. So you can understand why his teammates yeah. were so ecstatic. There was a nice celebration there for him. It'll be Bell getting a crease, banging his way to the 40-yard line, short of the first down by two. You know what I liked about Matthews' touchdown, though? It was his first of the season. He acted like he'd been there before. You know, I mean, he, he showed some uh, composure in class there. Boyd is playing with a little bit of a shoulder injury tonight and uh, didn't practice much early in the week. Number 45 there in the white. And uh, he, he, but he, during the, toward the end of the week, he said, this is such a big game. I have to play. He's a guy who led the Longhorns and stops last year. Senior from New Braunfels, right in San Antonio. So now big third down for Oklahoma State to try to seize the momentum once again. Fullback spinning, but won't get there. Sean Willis, interesting call for the sophomore fullback instead of Tatum Bell. And it's a three and out that uh, Oklahoma State wanted to avoid, particularly after turning the football over. You don't want to go one, two, three and out. Thinking that the, that the linebackers would, would chase Tatum Bell as he was faking a sweep to the left. They ran the fullback dive, and Texas was stout at the point of attack. Stood, stood uh, Oklahoma State's offensive lineup and came off the blocks effectively. Going back for the punt. It'll be Nathan Vasher. He'll take it, and he's got a little lane over to the left side. If he can turn the corner, slowed down and tripped up. As he's put down, great coverage downfield, too, by Jamar Ransom. Otherwise, he gets outside on the edge. So first and ten for Texas with Longhorns lead by four. We've got 539 left in the opening quarter. And Chance Mock. We were told he was going to be in in the third series. Nice touchdown to interception ratio. Most of it came earlier this year. False dead, start. Yes, dead ball foul. False start on the far side of the field. And with a new quarterback, it's not a shock. A different cadence, different rhythm dead to ball. his count. No doubt. False start. Offense. Five-yard penalty. Still first down. Well, you mentioned Chance Mock's uh, touchdown interception ratio. 14 touchdowns, only two interceptions. Seven to one, which is pretty extraordinary. 144.77 uh, pass efficiency, 18th in the country. And Mac Brown likes both his quarterbacks. He likes the, the changeup it gives. One's a fastball pitcher, the other's a changeup. And, and the defense has to adjust. Chance Mock's role is to get the ball to the wideouts. He'll work out of the gun with the three wide receivers set and Benson in the backfield. They fight on the fake. Roy Williams has his legs taken out from under him. Pearson. 
Or check that Williams, the free safety. And let's head back to the studio now. Simmons on Fox Sports Net, Dave, will be down in Austin next Saturday and how that Longhorn secondary fares against him. Yeah, it's going to be, they're tough to prepare for. Mike Leach's offense is, is the most unusual in the country. It's tough to prepare for in a short week. Man, Chance Mock uses a timeout. Didn't like what he had up against the personnel of Oklahoma State. So the Cowboys have used one, and so have the Longhorns now. The timeout. Two remaining for both Oklahoma State and Texas with 4.53 left in the first 15. And let's see what Mock can do. The junior from right outside of Houston, the Woodlands. His father, Mike, quite a linebacker at Tech. Good career, the New York Jets in the NFL. Man, as a quarterback, he's got that kind of mentality. He's a tough kid. So now second and long, dead ball, ball start again. Yeah, the crowd noise. Well, and that's also going to happen, though, when you go back and forth with quarterbacks. Yeah, and, and, and it is, you know, if Chance doesn't project dead as ball. well. Ball start. Offense. And that uh, you, you get this. This is a formidable Still place to come play now. The the fans are right on top of the sidelines. I mean, the, here look at there, there's the sideline. There's the Oklahoma State players. The stand, <laughs> the fans are right there. It's like a basketball floor, isn't it? Exactly. I mean, and so all, all the noise cascades right down on you. It doesn't really have anywhere to go here. And, and, and when it when it's filled up, boy, it is loud. I mean, they are right on top of you. Incredible. And great weather tonight, isn't it? What's important to come out? I mean, it's a bitter night. Damp, cold. Now off the play fake. Mock eludes one. Man, wisely throws it in the neighborhood of Roy Williams, so it won't be grounding. Well, there's Greg Richmond coming up the football field with that quick first step, the bookend. Noxie, what's the latest downstairs? Are you talking? Here we go. Third and long. 40% on their third down tries this year. Now, a little screen to the tight end. And taking it in, Brett Robin, in fact, out of the vacuum, a little circle, and nothing doing. He is pounded. The great was over there. Also, Kareem Smith. So it's going to be a punting situation. Talking over a flag here on the sideline. Let's see what this penalty is. Somebody lead with a helmet. Texas certainly doesn't want to be in these third and longs. Yeah, I wonder if there's a late hit here on Oklahoma State. Personal foul. See, Texas seems like they're responding offensively, like Disregard they're going to stay on the, the field. The pass was caught behind the line of scrimmage. They were talking about an illegal man downfield. Fourth down. They thought Texas had a man downfield illegally, but the pass was caught behind the line of scrimmage, so move point. The chance box first series goes three and out with a punt. And deep in his own territory, Richmond McGee is going to punt it away. Darren Williams and Williams one of the best in the nation in fact he leads the Big 12 second in the country he's got an 18 yard average high spiral of beauty with hang time and two touchdowns sideways and good coverage what a punt by Richmond McGee Aaron Ross down in the coverage Man, it's going to be at the 33-yard line after a 44-yarder by McGee with hang time. And no return, so it's a 44-yard net. That's pretty uh, pretty strong right there. So 423. <laughs> <laughs> Rashad Woods in motion. Man, Josh Fields with pressure coming. Going deep. Had his man. What a grab. Taken in by Dewan Woods, little brother of Rashawn, the redshirt freshman. That's a great read and a great throw by Fields. And little brother steps up. He was uh, overwhelmed a little bit, overwhelmed a little bit in the Oklahoma game, but watch Tatum Bell, boom, pick up the blitz and give Josh Fields an opportunity. Watch Tatum Bell again, adjust, boom, pick up the blitzing linebacker down the field in man coverage. They got the matchup they wanted, Woods on safety, and they beat it due to Tatum Bell's great block. Now Woods out of the edge, buying time over the middle, in traffic, and overshoots his intended target, Dewan Woods, once again, Ooh. who thought he was interfered with. I tell you, to, to roll out and throw the ball back across the middle of the field late, he almost committed the cardinal sin. He said it, then there were three around the football. But a good read, as you said, running down the seam in a hot read. Yeah, watch, watch, uh, watch what takes place here, route-wise, as the blitz is picked up. Nice release, gets a little inside release, 
foot speed. That's a perfect throw. I mean, the courage isn't horrible. Fields falling away from the line of scrimmage makes a great throw. We're on the tight end. And now Tatum Bell with a seal on the right side. First down inside the 15 to the 13. A little wham on the outside for the tight end in motion, Charlie Johnson. Philip Geiger forced to make the stop, but not before. A first down and a run of 15. Boy, big plays can just excite the crowd and excite the football team. Excellent blocking. Watch the up top here, Woods. He says, I catch the ball. I can also block. That's a pretty good block on the edge to give Tatum Bell a, a, a seam inside. Josh Fields says, let's score. Let's score in the red zone. Let's finish this thing. Bell in the backfield. From the 13. Two to the wide side, three overall, and the fade in the corner of the end zone. Jump ball knocked away from the younger Woods. Dewan, the redshirt freshman, his best day this year. So he's got 23 catches coming in. He had a career high six against Texas A&M. Well, Rashawn Woods is saying, hey, Dewan, you know what? If they're going to double me, you got to step up and make plays. And this is basically the Dewan Woods drive. If he catches that football, he still isn't going to make a play on it. Josh Fields has to keep it in the field of play. He let him out of bounds. I mean, he really had no shot to make a play on the ball. He's going to keep it in the field of play and give him an opportunity to out, out jump him. And size wise, Dave identical to his brother, 6'2, 200. Yep. And now, second and 10 outside of the 13. Bell, nothing available. Shot down behind the line of scrimmage. Floating down was Derek Johnson. He's hurt. Slow to get up. It's in that six point stance. You don't like being in that six point stance on your hands and knees. Ooh, then he puts his head down for the seven point stance. That's not good. Seven point You're way stance too familiar with this, by the way. Oh, seven point stance means injury. That's not good. So with 313 to play in the first quarter, Oklahoma State driving loses two. It's going to be third and a dozen, but immediate concern. They lose Tatum Bell. Serious ramification. Round with 135 yards a game. They have to get him back. His teammate in high school, defensive tackle for the, for the Longhorns, Tubbs. Tubbs in high school is a tight end. Teammates playing against each other now at the next level. Morenci takes over. The single to the backfield on third and a dozen. Fields with a wall into the end zone, a shove by the wide receiver Rashawn Woods. Yeah, big push out. And that's what the quarterback Basher is saying, but it wasn't catchable anyway. And a field goal try coming up. Little cushion. And, and watching, once you get in the end zone, look at two hands, left hand, right hand, double, double hand push. And uh, that's pretty good coverage by Basher. I mean, he tried to run a little pivot route to the sideline. Talking to uh, Rashawn Woods before the game, I asked him who the best cornerback he played against. He said, hands down, Terrence Newman, Kansas State. He said he was just phenomenal. He's playing on Sundays now from a 32-yard field goal try. Trying to make it a one-point game. It's Luke Phillips on its way, does it again. He's already got a 52-yarder. Automatic. Now a 32-yarder. And a little bit closer for the Cowboys. Still 7 to 6 Longhorn. 52 yard drive for Oklahoma State. The big play, the 39 yard pass by Fields to Dewan Woods. And now, is it going to be brought back? No. It'll stay in the end zone for a touchback. And Texas, as Cole Farden did it again, Texas will have it. First and 10 with a long field in front of them at their own 20. Texas. And will it be Vince Young? I believe so. Yeah, I think I think it almost has to be. And Texas, talk about balance, Joel. They're one of eight teams in college football that have run the ball and thrown the ball for over 200 yards a game. That's a very, very strong balance. Well, coming in, the average 222 a game on the ground, 211 through the air. And you're right, that is the ultimate. Greg Davis and his offensive unit. Took only a minute 40 on our Nissan scoring drive to make it a one point affair, 7 6. Vince Young out of the gun. Benson, he's got a nice lane to the outside. Benson with good yardage on first down. Will they give him the first down? Yes. He's across the 30. Forced out by Robert Jones. Noxie. That's, uh, that's good. I don't know if it's good news or not. Now, you know, knee, knee joint, ankle joint problems. Particularly, you know, it's all weight bearing in a, in a speed guy like him. Hopefully, it's not significant. They can just retape it. Texas has another first down. Vince Young on the outside. Keeps it himself. Gets a nice block downfield from his wide receiver. 
That time it was Tony Jeffrey. And he's close to another first down. Williams on that side forcing him out. Well, he is like watching a deer out there. He is so, I mean, just a picturesque athlete, you know? I mean, is it. Well, look at the stride. It, it's, it's just phenomenal. The, the effort, it's effortless for the guy. You know what he looks like because of his size, Randall Cunningham a little bit. Yeah, that's a good call. He really does. I, I, that's a very good analogy. He is, a, he is much longer than Brad Smith. I don't think he has the speed of Michael Vick. And Michael Vick is nowhere near that six foot five inch frame that Vince Young is, but Randall is. Second fan, a little less than a yard, making a little more than a yard now. Great play. Albert Craig coming up on the back of the running back. And here's a guy who had an ACL injury just a few games ago. How's he back? Well, he's got a big heart, wants to compete, wants to finish this season. This this Oklahoma State football team, they've won 13 of their last 16 games. They've done a heck of a job turning the thing around here in Stillwater. And There's no question. Dominated at home. They've got 10 consecutive wins. We did the last that's, loss, the UCLA, right. UCLA game at the start of their last season. They went 6 and 1 last year at home. They're 5 and 0 this year. So now third and a yard still. Young audibleizing with Benson in the backfield. Benson adjusting. Won't get there. Great play, first by DeGreat, and then Holland cleaned up, but DeGreat torpedoed the play. Nice call by Bill Clay, the defensive coordinator for Oklahoma State, figuring Texas is going to try to run the ball up the middle. He just brought both his linebackers inside. Watch the double barrel inside linebacker blitz. They're going to walk right up at the snap of the ball. Boom, both hit the A-gaps and stuff it. Nowhere to go. That's just a very good call by Bill Clay. It was almost like he was on the Texas headset listening to the play. They're after the punt, man. Again, Richmond McGee with a beauty. Gabe Lindsay backpedaling. Doesn't call for the fair catch. Makes a miss. Look out. From the 20. One man to beat. And he's going to be dragged from behind. You can see the Longhorn coming up from behind that was tracking him. David Thomas, the reserve tied in. In a game like this, evenly matched, 7-6, one-point game, less than a minute to go in the first quarter. The team that makes the big play in the kicking game and avoids the big mistake gets a leg up. Right now, the first big play in the kicking game, courtesy the Cowboys. Take a look at the blocking that takes place here. That, that's just athletically to make athletic ability to make the first miss. Now he starts picking up blockers. And that's just good effort. Tell you, once he made his mind up, he was going north, south, Toronto. Lindsay had a 42-yard return. Can they make the most of it now and take the lead once again? Lorenzi in there for Tatum Bell. Wiggy, waggling his way inside the 37 down to the 36. And there were some supporting cast members that shined on that one. It'll be second. A little less than seven. They pick up the blitz. And... He was headed for his wide receiver who turned around a little bit late on that play. He wanted to get it. Morenci out of the backfield. You know, this, uh, this Texas defensive football team is, is, is tough to throw the football against. There's, there's no doubt about it. You know, they're giving up less than 153 yards a game, six best in the country, allowing only uh, less than 46% completion, which is best in the country. They disrupt you. you know, they, they, they get after the quarterback. They do a good job in all phases. So now on third and long, third and between six and seven. Fields on the short drop and throws it too tall for Do Rashawn Woods. In fact, he had Lindsey on a little slant over the middle, wide open, but he was so locked in on Woods. He was locked in and there was good pressure. I, I think he probably thought he didn't have time to go to another read. The 13 uh, sacks in the last two games the Longhorns have come up with. And of course, last week against Oklahoma, Oklahoma State had trouble protecting fields. And I don't care how great a route Rashawn Woods runs. His quarterback doesn't get protection. He can't get him the football. This would be a career best for Phillips of 53 yards. Now, he got great elevation on the other long one. This, you know, sometimes 53 yarder, you hit your seven iron rather than your wedge, and you have to drive it. Well, the first one, as you mentioned, get it up. The 52 yarder would have been good easily from 60. Yeah, he, he, got, it, he got it airborne quickly. Went slightly at the back of Luke Phillips, a senior from Tulsa, now 11 of 12 on the season, going two for two tonight. So he's hit from 52 yards out. The last one, a 32-yarder. See if he can get the elevation again. Somebody will be this is a jumper right here. 
Good protection, but he's pushed it. Will it come inside? Oh, he yes! Hooked it. He, hooked he it draws it in! Wow! What wow. a draw off the first tee. Man. You know, just like in golf, you get extra distance. And when you have that draw, he get extra distance on that kick. And he got it airborne quickly again. He's getting very quick elevation on those monster field goals. 52, 53 yards. you got to be kidding me. I wish my wedge worked that well. I hear that, Coach. Seven seconds left in the quarter, and thanks to three field goals by Phillips, it's a two-point lead. Only time, along with Terrell Brown. He was big in their upset uh, two, let's see, three years ago now against Oklahoma State. Hit a big one uh, against Oklahoma when Oklahoma State beat him in Norman. Cole Farden, will he be able to put it in the end zone? Line drive, and Brown can't get to it. Very effective. That'll take the return game out of it every time. So Texas, they have not had the field position except for the one occasion when it was an interception. Yep by Vasher and they started that drive of the 19 and got their only points of the game otherwise they've started four times inside their own 25 yard line yeah uh, Oklahoma State has done a very very good job of dictating field position and as a result it is just uh, as we saw that it's only two yard differential but yeah, that's, that's because that's, of that one exactly because of that interception that gave him such a short field Vasher doing a good job of returning is it the interception 19 yards and only leaving 19 left to negotiate the score and Texas did it so Young coming off a 14 carry 163 yard game with the play fake. Man, buying some time. This is what he does so well. Gets a block downfield and he's got a first down. I tell you, this, he's going to make defensive coordinators get gray hair or lose hair because they're going to be pulling it out by their roots because Oklahoma State defended that play perfect. Chilly weather and maybe a little bit too cold for the guys from Austin, Texas. They're down by two. We're only 15 minutes into the contest, though. And our Ford first quarter numbers Pretty identical close. in first downs. It's a big play right there. Well, the difference right now, one's doing it on the ground, the other through the air. So we talked about that balance for Texas. One of only eight teams in the nation with better than 200 on the ground and through the air on average. But Dave, they don't have balance right now. Neither team getting it done on third down. Texas uh, 0 for 3. Oklahoma 1 for 5. That's 20 percent. Vince Young, great lane to throw through. Instead, he's going to run it. He was across the line, and it's going to be coming back anyway. Yeah. As it's taken in downfield, Tony Jeffrey. Doesn't make any difference, though. He lost perspective where he was. Boy, he has eyes in the back of his head, though. I, I can't imagine how he avoids some of that pressure from behind. He has a sixth sense, but he has to realize where the line of scrimmage is. You're right, Joel. He stepped over it by a yard. So it'll all come back. Little forward pass on the offense. Quarterback beyond the line of scrimmage. It'll be a five-yard penalty. From the spot of the you know, he's six five, he's six feet. Maybe he's not band. across. Yeah, exactly. But the, the instincts right here to, to feel the pressure and to step up. The line of scrimmage was the 34 yard line, and, and he was he was teetering. I mean, he was closer than I thought. But not a bad throw on the run. Oh, I'll tell you. You like that tight spiral? <laughs> yeah, he's special. This guy is going to be a nightmare for coordinators around the country. He's a creator. You know, a lot of times the play that he creates is better than the play that was called. So at the outset of the second quarter, second and long coming up for Texas. Young out of the gun. It will be Benson this time. And Cedric into the secondary. Boy, he can rumble. He reminds you a little bit. Don't want to get carried away, but once he gets into the open field and gets that pad level low, you know what I'm talking about. There's a injured horn down behind the play as John Howland made the stop. Yeah, it's one of the, the big offensive linemen. Don't want to. Don't want to see Will Allen hurt like it looks like he is, but he's got uh, Benson looks like he's got quicker feet. I mean, he's got the jackhammer feet going for him. Coming off back to back thousand yard seasons, he can still get there this year. No hogs were capable of being <laughs> ambidextrous quite like that. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> it is going to be third in the yard. Amphibious hogs. <laughs> Benson. Up the back of his own blocker lunges. He got the first down to the 42. Heads up play. If he tries to go to the outside, he doesn't get there. Yeah, Benson wasn't hedging there at all. 
I mean, he made it. Don't decision. go there. He just said just <laughs> and, and, and took it. He does. He finishes. The, he's got the great body lean. And, and, and watch the pad level and, and look at the lean. I mean, it, very rarely does he get tackled for a loss. And, and it's once every 75 carries, he loses uh, control of the football. Yeah, do you like that? Once every 75 times he fumbles. Yep. Can't believe the guy gives it away like that. Good ball security. First and 10 for the 42. Selvin Young comes into the game. He is in the backfield now. Along with Vince Young. Now Young in trouble. Can he get rid of it in time? He does. Roy Williams down the sideline. Does he step out? Just barely. Oh, man. That's a touchdown. He tried to just tiptoe, and he got a nice seal. The Sloan block down. Thomas. Yeah, Sloan yeah. Thomas did a great job, the senior from Houston. He did. He was trying to help his teammate, but ran out of real estate. And once again, Roy Williams remarkably has a side 16 shoe. And watch how quick he is with those big pads. It's amazing. Forever Young gets rid of the ball on time and accurately. And watch him move these pads. I mean, that's amazing. And he's tight roping. If he, did, if he had a size 12, he'd be in bounce still. This guy is just athletic ability that is just extraordinary. Benson takes over in the backfield in this drive that started at the Texas 20. The two point lead for Oklahoma State. And Benson won't get out of the backfield. That's a big loss. Five, in fact, back to the 30. Great penetration. Richmond's there. Greg Richmond, for the defensive end, came into the game. You talked about it. A third of his tackles are for losses. Right. Leads the Big 12 in sacks. Third in the nation with 10 and a half sacks. And there's another tackle for a loss. What about those losses, Noxie? Okay, I'll tell you what, Will Allen still remains on the Longhorns bench, guys. They're looking at his shoulder, and Dave, as you mentioned earlier, this team cannot afford to lose another offensive lineman. They were just gelling, getting that running game going, but right now, they're checking out the shoulder. That would be a big loss, a sophomore from Houston, as you mentioned. Yep. He was your center last season, too. Young on the move. What a grab. Sloan Thomas. That is a bullet. First down. We'll check that after the loss. It's inside the 25 down to the 23. It was second and long. We saw Vince Young in his uh, first appearance against New Mexico State in the opener, and his first completion was a 60-yarder, and he just threw a howitzer. This guy, you know, when he throws that out pattern like that, it, that ball won't get wet in the car wash now. It's, it's, it's just got some RPMs to it. He cuts that thing loose. It is going to be a timeout call. So two timeouts gone in the first half for both sides. Third and long outside of the 23. What is Vince Young going to do? They've got Brett Robin in the backfield. Young out of the gun off a low snap into the end zone for Sloan Thomas. Does he make it? No. Just about. He was available. Roy Williams was behind the defensive yeah. back as well. Robert Jones on the coverage. You know, with, with Vince Young, Joel, sometimes you have to come up with, with creative ways to defend him. And, and what Oklahoma State's doing sometimes is spy. Here's Duran, the linebacker. Watch him looking at Young. Whatever you do, I'm going to do. I'm your shadow. And, and he takes it. As Young rolls to his right, look at Duran. Just rolling with him. That's called a spy. If he had run and broken the line of scrimmage, Duran would have been right there. For the lead, it is going to be a 40-yard try for Dusty Mangum. He's only had six tries this year. He's hit on five of six. And did he hook it? Yeah. Yes, he did. So a miss from 40 yards away. So the special teams really making a difference. A long return by Gabe Lindsay. Three field goals by Luke Phillips. And a big reason, let's face it, there's a two-point lead on the board for Oklahoma State. And two of those three field goals, monsters. 52, 53 yarders. That's pretty strong. Difference in the game right now. There's one kicker uh, converted three and two of them from deep. And Texas couldn't match. Seymour Shaw is taking over because Tatum Bell is out of the game with an ankle injury. Shaw, the junior from Shawnee, Oklahoma. He's got a seven yard average on 44 carries this year and breaks through an arm tackle with a flag on the play where you're going to see a hold. Or was it a grill? And somebody grabbed the face mask of Shaw on the way by. He's saying it was. He got up grabbing that face mask and readjusting it. See if it's five or 15. Was he tackled by the face mask or was it inadvertent? Incidental face mask on the defense. Five yard penalty from the end of the run. 
There it is. Up in the face mask and off. One big D, D lineman. That's Tubbs fighting off the block. Gets the big mucker out there and trying to reach for anything and he grabs the, the face mask. Tubbs is a is a factor. You have to double team him in the running game and in the passing game. And as I said earlier, he's a high school teammate of Tatum Bell, played uh, tight end. Tatum Bell was a running back in the same high school at DeSoto. It's going to be first and short. First down over again. And Fields up top. And all tangled up with Basher was Rashawn Woods. Good coverage again. Excellent coverage. He really confidently broke on that football. Now the latest on Tatum Bell. All you have to do is ask Knox on Fox. It's all brought to you by Microsoft Network. MSN. Log on to FoxSports.com. Enter keyword. Ask Knox. Jim Knox provides the answers later in the contest. Fields looking for a first down. Gives it off to Seymour Sean. He's got it easily. All the way up to the 40-yard line. Tatum Bell had uh, ankle problems last season as well. It, it, I'm not saying they're chronic, but uh, seemed to reoccur tonight, obviously. And he's, he'd stayed pretty healthy during the course of this season. But they have some depth at the running back position. But you lose the second leading rusher in the country, that's a loss. That's huge. And then all of a sudden, they're not exactly keen on that area of the game as much. Fields, three step drop. Rashawn Woods. Good yardage on first down. High percentage. A little turnaround past the 45 to the 46. Yeah, that's like a long lateral. I mean, that's uh, basically a control passing game right there. Right in front of Nathan Basher. Well, our best buy leaders among active receivers. And we have seen them all. We've got two in the game. We saw Darius Watts on Fox Sports Net. Against Marshall's winner against Kansas State. Right. Two on the field tonight. Janice, one of the wide receivers coming in. They'll give it off to Sean. He's barely tripped up. He gets into the secondary. No safety on that side of the field. Yeah, that, that Texas was very, very tight to the line of scrimmage. And Oklahoma State does a good job. They'll, they'll motion fullbacks. They'll end up. Yeah. And, you know, there's some word about uh, Texas going to the Rose Bowl because the US, if USC right. wins out and goes to the BCS and plays in the uh, Sugar Bowl, there's an at-large opportunity. And now uh, the Rose Bowl could select Texas if they were to run the table. Third ninjas fields got the first down. So you're trying to fire up UCLA, are you? <laughs> Boy, SC. What a, uh, what a season. Oh, uh, heck of a season. They got team speed, but Oklahoma has so much team speed everywhere. Well, yeah, but that sophomore quarterback, Matt Leinert, from yeah. USC, and he's got two more years. It's going to be interesting to see what happens to the young man behind him, J.D. Booty. True. True. Will he stick around there? Brother so it's going, Josh. Yes, it's going to be a first down for Oklahoma State and the quarterback sneak. Rashawn Woods needs some touches for this team to be successful. They've already got a two-point lead. Now, the double move. And it's going to be a jump ball and almost intercepted. Woods just could not get away. Vasher over there. Also, Geiger. Yeah, that was cover two. Had a safety over the top. Vasher underneath. And Oklahoma played cover two a lot. Cover two means the safeties roll from the middle of the field and, and double, double with the cornerbacks. Double with the cornerbacks. And what's the safety? He's, he's over the top. There's the corner underneath. That's cover two. Ooh, Vasher deflects it. Giger would have had it if Vasher doesn't get the left hand on it. But and, and they were successful. Oklahoma was doubling the wideouts with those safeties. When teams start to do that, you have to be able to run the football because the middle of the field is the area that's uh, that's that's vulnerable. 9:58 left in the half. On the slant, what a shot taken there by Rashawn Woods, close to a first down. Harris came over the linebacker. Aaron Harris, the sophomore from Mesquite, Texas. And they'll put it on the line, and he's got the first down. Well, that was just a tough play by Dwan Woods. I mean, he, ball security there, catching this thing. You've got to check your feelings when you get up, because that's a linebacker that puts the pop on him, and that is staggering. I mean, that just rattles you right to your skeleton. Boy, whiplash. So that's a jacuzzi shot tomorrow morning, but he held on to that football. Got to give him a lot of credit. He needs a break, and he's over on the sideline, and I don't blame him. He's, got to, he's trying to remember if he's Austin or still one. Play fake out of the edge. Drop it off. The first look at the tight end, Billy Bajima. Man, he's got it inside the 35. Good work. A senior from Oklahoma City. 
And he's got about six yards on the reception. Nice little play fake, though. Yeah, Mike Gundy and Les Miles collaborating on this offense, and they're in a nice little rhythm now. They're they're very, very multiple. And a little uh, Fields rolls to his left, throws back to the right side to his tight end, who had kind of hit, and he was pretending like he was blocking a little bit and then released late. Found himself wide open. Nice play on first down. Throwing on first down is a good concept against this Texas defense. Yeah, what a drive they've got going that started back at their own 23. Now second, a little more than three, almost four. It'll be Seymour, and he's got the first down. Cutting it back against the pursuit inside the 30, close to the 28. Tripped up by Reed Boyd. They really haven't missed a beat yet, have they? And there's Mike. There's Mike Gundy right there. Highly regarded offensive coordinator. A lot of schools pursued him in uh, search for head coach opportunities in the offseason. And uh, tell you what, he's he's the school record holder. He's the guy that's thrown for over 7,000 yards that Josh Fields is uh, chasing. And ironically, he coaches him every day. And now first and 10. It's the best drive, balance-wise, for either side. Man, a timeout's going to be the last one of the half for Oklahoma State. Stillwater, Oklahoma. And now, it's going to be first down on the toss. Shaw bouncing his way down to the 25 for a gain of about four. So right now, all of a sudden, they're battling each other pretty well in the trenches. They Not are. a lot of big plays, but little short four and five yarders on the ground. Cedric Griffin, the unblocked uh, defensive back, made the tackle. I think it's one of the, that's one of the things it's going to come down to tonight. Who's going to have to put the eighth man in the box more to stop the other team's run? And that unblocked guy in the box, will he tackle? They run Charlie Johnson, the tight end in motion. Sets up on the opposite side of Bajima. Toss sweep to the same side. Shaw can't get away. Good pursuit down the line for Texas. Huff in on the hit and let's head down. You brought up real early three step drops have kept them yeah. off balance. Yeah, it, they, they've done a good job of getting Josh Fields in rhythm. Three step drops get the ball out quickly. Now Fields on third down in the flat. He's got a first down. Taking it out of bounds. The completion goes to the running back. And it was Sean Willis, the fullback. So now a first down inside the 12. Johnson finally caught up with him. Now you talk about using every weapon. He went in motion to fullback. Here he is out in the flat. And, and Josh Field is thrown to his tight end. He's thrown to his fullback. He's thrown to both the Woods brothers. He's distributing the ball to all quadrants of the football field. And uh, the motion, change of strength, the formation, the window dressing of Oklahoma State. I think has Texas back on its heels a little bit. This has been the most impressive drive by either team tonight. First and 10 for the 12. Seymour Shaw. Man, taking it inside the 10. That was tough yardage. Getting three. He's brought down by Roderick Wright. Both of these football teams rush the ball for over 200 yards a game. That is the straw that stirs their offensive drink. If they can't run the football, they have trouble. And both of them are running it effectively enough tonight to get their offenses on track. Roderick Wright injured. Something with that wrist, you could tell. Yeah. Just outside the nine, they can pick up a first down, close to the two. It'll be Shaw in the backfield once again. They keep the fullback there, Sean Willis. Sly Johnson in motion. This has been their formation lately. Shaw won't get out of the backfield, though. Play is torpedoed. And then, will it be a flag on a late hit as Aaron Harris, the linebacker, got the stop? Well, Larry Dibbles wanted it. Take a look at it uh, right here. That's shed and tackle. That's separate from the block and tackle. That's that's training real time there. You, you can't do it a whole heck of a lot better than Harris did it right there. Is that the definition of a solo tackle? Yeah, that is. That's a that's a gold star on the forehead because he shed that that lead blocker one on one and then just destroyed. It's a uh, seek and destroy him. He did them both. Mike, I will look forward to those comments. Kevin Senior, because we heard there was something about that loss a little bit more than the loss now on third down into the end zone touchdown Rashawn Woods what a drive 16th play 77 yards 
And really nice drive, mixing the run and the pass very, very effectively. And Rashawn Woods, Josh Fields hook up for the 31st time in their illustrious careers. That's amongst the best in the country, if not the best. So Texas has not been able to move the football consistently, and now they find themselves down by more than two scores. This is the key, the extra point to make it a two-score game with 5.22 to play in the half. Phillips does exactly that. 16-7. Oklahoma State looking for a record setting, and it would tie the longest winning streak in Oman school history. It would be their 11th straight. Intelligent young man on the sideline. That helmet comes off. Josh Field gets the cap on. The stocking cap. <laughs> and it's going to be Brown bringing it back across the 10. Not to the 20, though. He's jerked around to the 19-yard line. So Terrell Brown on the return. And a long field again. That's Glenn Jackson on the coverage. Well, Josh Fields throws a pretty ball. Because Nathan Vasher is beaten, but not beaten horribly. That's just a good throw. Let's take a look at what Nathan Vasher was saying. Usually it's a fade. Nathan Vasher's taking the outside. So he says, fade inside. I'm going to set you up the fade and rip inside and run a slant. And Nathan Vasher got caught a little flat footed because he thought Rashawn Woods was going to go to the corner of the end zone for that patented fade move. And Rashawn Woods made a great move escaping the line of scrimmage. From their 19, Vince Young running option with Cedric Benson. Nothing on the outside, nothing on the inside either. Only a yard, yard and a half. And you know what I really liked about that after the stop by DeGray, who's off to a great start. Josh Fields had to contest the linebacker as well, who was right in the line of Rashawn Woods. Yep. He got it over the linebacker's mitt. That's just a great touch. You know, and like I said before, Fields is a great hitting third baseman for the Oklahoma State baseball team. There are people, a lot of people projecting him to be an eventual first round selection in Major League Baseball. They were just down and on the field between quarters. Now, Vince Young. Can he get the first down? Good completion. Roy Williams, will he give up the first down? No, he's got it to the 33. So the crossing batter by Williams and deep out of their own area. Now some breathing room. Ransom on the hit. Roy Williams fired up after that catch. He is a size speed matchup nightmare. 6'4, 210 pounds with that quickness, and it just amazes me what he's able to do with those big feet. He came in with really 44 catches, though, and it's got to be frustrating your senior season that you're working with inexperience at the quarterback position. Yeah, and he, he, uh, he passed up the top 10 draft opportunity to come back, so when he speaks, his teammates listen because he sacrificed. Vince Young on first down from the 33. Stretching the got field. Him. He's got Williams. What a grab. Williams breaks the tackle. He'll take it in. Touchdown, Texas. A size, speed, ratio nightmare. He's too big for cornerbacks, too fast for safeties and linebackers. That is a special athlete. Darren Williams at 5'9", 170. Just wasn't strong enough to bring him down. Yeah, 6'4", is Roy Williams. 5'9", is his counterpart Williams on Williams so a 67 yard touchdown pass and I'll tell you have a six foot five inch 225 pound quarterback thrown to a six foot four inch 210 pound receiver that are both incredibly athletic that's scary and now Mangum the former walk off the point after tries to make it a two point deficit for the Longhorns so just like that Oklahoma State chews up the clock. How frustrating is that? 16 plays to go 77 yards and only three plays for the drive for the Texas Longhorns. And it was Roy Williams. Here's Roy Williams over the top. Just outruns Durant Williams. And then not only the catch, but uh, geez, the size difference. He had no chance to bring him down one on one. Takes the inside, trying to push, push him to the sideline. Use the sideline as a 12th man. Forget it. Roy's too big, powerful, strong, fast. It's tough. Five catches now for Roy Williams at 120 yards. Nice ball by Forever Young as well. Yeah, that, that thing was majestic, the arc that it had going down the football field. So Texas right back in it as Vince Young 
just a little excited, but he, he can afford to be. He's a redshirt freshman out of Madison High School in Houston. He was the Texas 5A Player of the Year. Nice throwing to Roy Williams. Don't get used to it that long, though, because he's gone, gone Vince, <laughs> at the end of the year. Boy. Nissan scoring drive took too long, didn't it? Yeah. Now you talk about the big strike ability of the Longhorns. Was it present on that drive? Marenzi going back along with Terrell Brown. So Roy Williams, a catch away from 50 on the season. And actually, Robert Jones going back with Morency. You know, you look at Rashawn Woods, leads the Big 12 Conference and catches yards and touchdowns. Right behind him, number two all time in all categories, Roy Williams. McGee, a boomer. Man, it'll stay in the end zone. So Oklahoma State, the Cowboys have enjoyed some solid field position now. Back at their own 20 yard line. And no timeouts. They're out of timeouts. But the, the clock stops in college football when you generate a first down, moving the chains. But it is still nice to have those timeouts. And Roy Williams got his team right back in the football game with two catches on that drive. The final one, a 67 yard touchdown. And both teams, in fact, are out of timeouts now. Renzi's in the backfield. Shaw gets a break after that long drive, the 16-play drive, covering 77 yards the last time they had it. Look at that shift of formation there, and then motion back. Nice little move again out of the edge by Fields, coming back and well behind his intended target, trying to get it to Billy Batchman, the tight end. Mike Goldberg, Billy Ray Smith, they'll be in the studio with an East Tom halftime report. Talking about Miami losing. The Miami loss. That really helps Virginia Tech. Second and ten. Is it going to be a ten second drive? The completion. And short of the first down. As they get it out towards. As Lindsay took it in. Out towards the 28. Give him the 29. It'll be third in the yard. Reed Boyd. Finally caught up with him. What Oklahoma State does by formation and, and personnel groups, they stretch you horizontally throwing the football as well as vertically. They spread you out, and then they can go over the top. They've got uh, the talent to do it, and they're put together so well by Les Miles and his coaching staff. They make you defend every quadrant of the football field. In the passing department now. Fields is 10 of 20, 124 yards, and they get the first down. Morency goes to the 32. So the Cowboys move it, and you thought after that first completion, if they only throw three and don't get the first down, all of a sudden Texas has got it back close to the midfield stripe with a lot of time. That was key, only up by two. No doubt. Fields has a single behind him. So many different looks. The tight end in motion to the same side as Morrissey breaks out of the ankle tackle. Only gets about a yard or two at the most. Up to the 34. And Dibbles is there. You know, Les, Les Miles was an offensive lineman for Bo Schembecker at Michigan. So. His teams, he takes tremendous pride in the fact that he wants his offensive lines to be able to perform and execute and block people and sustain blocks. You know, every year they have been. You know, Dave, you can't tell, and I'll get back to this in just a moment, that they played Oklahoma last week. Because a lot of times Oklahoma can leave you sore till Wednesday or Thursday. Now, on second and long, quickly out of the edge and off the fingertips of DeWan Woods. But you and I talked about that coming over tonight. Mm -hmm. It lingers a loss like that 52 to 9 and especially not only psychologically but a lot of guys can get banged up. Yeah well Oklahoma will strike you because they have so much team speed and the collisions are so violent but uh, I think Oklahoma State has done a great job of selective amnesia you know and and uh, good and, call and don't don't experience a hangover and, and forget it it's over with there's nothing you can do now the past is the past all you can control is the present. Don't worry about the future. Just worry about tonight. And they're doing a great job of that. Big third down. 243 left in the half. So third and eight. Fields with three wide receivers. Put it Ooh. up for grabs. And if he throws it inside, it's intercepted.
by Griffin. He's lucky that it was thrown behind Dewan Woods. Otherwise, it's a pick. Exactly. The crowd's looking for interference, but none there. Griffin just made a great break on the football, and as you say, Joel, if it was thrown in a different spot, could have been real tragedy. It's the other way. Yep, it's it's back to the house, and Griffin seeing golden goalposts. So now a very important punt coming up. Cole Farden, junior from Grapevine, Texas. Nathan Vasher, the always dangerous one back there at the 25. He should have three A on it. Selvin Young should have three B. <laughs> and let let's call Mac Brown the trainers. It's taken across the 30 on a low line drive wobbler and a good play downfield by Vernon Grant because there was no hang time at all. Only a 39 yard punt, a net 32 on the seven yard return. And Texas with an opportunity to go into the locker room with the lead. Granted, they're out of timeouts, but they've got good field position outside of their own 33. And this is where, in the past during the season, Chance Mock has come out and run the two minute drill, the one minute drill. It'd be interesting to see if they stay with Vince Young or they go with Chance Mock. And Vince Young comes out, he's playing at a high level tonight. College football presented by Kia Serra next Saturday on Fox Sportsnet. BJ Simmons, Texas Tech, taking on the Sam Longhorns. College football continues next week. Kick Show 630 Eastern, 330 Pacific, right here on Fox Sports Tech. It'll be Young instead of Mock. Grabbing a spin and diving across the 40. It's taken in by B.J. Johnson, the senior from Grand Prairie, Texas, short of the first down by about three. And, and this is uh, B.J. Johnson and Sloan Thomas. These are the guys. How can you leave him that alone? He's the, he's the Maytag repairman. I mean, can't give him that much cushion. He's all by his lonesome out there. He, he's a guy that's really sacrificed. He and Slow Thomas are there. The ball thrown to them is really diminishing this running game. Young about to be hit, and the ball got there way before Sloan Thomas thought it was going to be there, but Young felt the backside pressure. Yeah, he did. He's got eyes in the back of his head. He just has a clock that's very strong. Vernon Grant came off the slot, and Vernon Grant just had a bullseye in the back, and he tried to hit him between the one and the zero. And that ball couldn't be thrown any better. What Coming on a break, it's like <laughs> Sloan Thomas. I, I bet he was shocked when he came out of break to have the ball there with that velocity. Was like, are you kidding me? All right. How encouraging is that for the next three years for Texas fans? So third down at about three. Can you get this guy out on the edge? Keep the ball in the hands of Ben Jung. Instead, throws it wide of the intended target on a slant. Yeah. Robert Jones did a great job up against Jeffrey. He wanted a flag. He won't get it. Yeah, both were going to make a play on the football. Robert Jones has allowed that spot on the field himself. And Jeffrey's upset, thought that Robert Jones went through him to make him play on the ball, but the officials disagreed. And now the same applies. As Gabe Lindsay, who's already got a 42 yard punt return, goes back deep. Plenty of time left. More points on the board for Oklahoma State. I, I directional kick away from him. He's shown uh, me enough at this stage. I, I directional kick. Richmond McGee. Very high one. Good hang time. Man, no fair catch. Lindsay tracked down right away. Making the play. Aaron Ross to the defensive back. Have you ever heard it this quiet, though? It's real interesting that it's packed here and it's this quiet. And boy, that's it. That, that's courage right there. All that action going on, on around you, that's focus, concentration, and courage <laughs> to be able to, to say, okay, it's Grand Central Station. There's a track of five. It's rush hour. There's, a, There's a lot of traffic, but I'm catching it. That's what you call a focus group. Man. Seymour Shaw. Yeah, that's uh, I'm watching one thing and one thing only. Nothing else affects me. Now, how much is Josh Fields going to gamble back at his own 27? Trips to the wide side of the field, four overall. And it's Seymour Shaw as they spread the defense. And Shaw <laughs> takes a serious shot. Yeah, I, I, I think Les is going to play this very conservatively. You don't want to turn it over with this field position. And I mean, you've got uh, you've got the lead. You have the two point advantage. I don't want to do anything real silly here. Quite well, a shot from Aaron Harris, the linebacker we were talking about earlier, the sophomore from Mesquite, Texas. Yeah, he's a. When he arrives, his collisions are violent. Man. He's got momentum. There's no doubt about that. He is coming after you. Second and 10 from the 27. Shaw again. Les Miles feels the same way you do. We did too many things right. To let it get away in the last minute as Reed Boy slings down the running back. The crowd reacting uh, 
with a little bit of frustration, but uh, you know, I think it'd be a different story if they had timeouts left. Yeah, I agree. I agree with that. I, you know, I think that uh, in this situation, that if, if they had on that first or second down, if they had popped it for about six or seven yards, seven or eight yards, you might think about it. But right now, no way. And they also know Texas can't stop the clock either. Right. So it uh, continues to roll. Inside of 30 seconds to play. And Shaw breaks a tackle. Ooh, Almost got there. Got there yeah. Now let's see about the spot. They may need a measurement. As Philip Geiger got him in the secondary. Well, it's close, isn't it? I think they'll bring him in. Yeah, they're going to bring him in there. And then you can take a couple of shots downfield and try to get a field goal out of it. Coming up. Almost split. Yeah, that's that's pretty good, uh, pretty good sure tackle in the open field by Giger right there. I'd say he's short by less than half the football. Oh, he's got it by a ball and a half. I guess I need to get my eyes checked. Glad to know that you're really fired up though. <laughs> you were pumped up on that measurement. <laughs> Play of the day brought to you by Dave Lapham. Yeah, right. <laughs> Now, so now it's rolling. Now there, you, there's no urgency. Now take a shot. Now take a shot. Well, see what you got. Out of the gun we go. They're coming off the edge. Here comes the blitz. Deep down the sideline for Dewan Woods, and it's incomplete. There was contact. Woods was shoved out a little bit. Griffin said that yes. Woods shoved him. There was some chicken fighting going on down downfield there with the hands. Griffin got away with a little bit. I don't think there's anything any doubt about that, but it was a punt. And you're not allowed to call a fair catch on that. Yeah, that's right. So one more snap with two seconds left in a the never ending half. Glad to be a part of it. Well, I tell you, Woods Woods pulled uh, Griffin down. Griffin had a complaint. Oh, he did. Woods, you're Woods, right. Woods grabbed with the right hand by his, by his belt and uh, yanked him down. Tricks of the trade from his brother. Yeah. And that'll do it for the half. So Oklahoma State looking for a record tying 11th consecutive home victory. Heads to the locker room with a two point lead over the 11th ranked Texas Longhorns. And let's head downstairs. Noxie. All right, Joe Cook, you said in order to be successful in offense, you're going to have to throw the football and protect Josh Fields doing an excellent job. Not one sack by Texas in the first half. Yeah, we're uh, we're choosing our, our throws carefully, making sure that we're play action and, and doing the things on first down that we need to do to make sure that they're not just getting up the field on us. And defensively, a nice job containing Vincent Young. The defense is playing well. Uh, they're mixing calls and, and getting in the backfield and, and, uh, and really kind of forced Vincent uh, Young into some throws that we'd like to see him do real quick what do you hear on Tatum Bell will he be back in the second half not certain don't know okay best of luck in the second half Joel made and he little stutter step released to the inside for a touchdown so another kickoff is going to take the return game of Selvin Young right out of it for Texas and then Roy Williams just a size speed ratio nightmare when he catches the football the fun begins because his yards after catch can be phenomenal picks up a block in the corner and the perimeter there for extra yard little stutter step 6-4 against 5-9. Not fair. 6-4 wins. 6-4 takes it to the house for a touchdown. Roy Williams, 67-yarder. So Texas is going to have it to start the second half. First and 10 of their own 20. They had 34 more yards of total offense for the first half on 21 fewer snaps. Big play factor. Man, you're waiting for more of those. It's almost like just below the surface. There goes Benson, the big play we were talking about. Almost. He's got 16, though. And a first down as he's chopped down by Robert Jones in the secondary. Now, the last six possessions for Texas, it's all started with the Vasher pick. Yeah, exactly. Short field with the Vasher pick. They, they touchdown. Struggle. Struggle. They, nice drive. Miss a field goal. This is the best drive of the half. 81-yard touchdown on three plays. That was the Roy Williams factor. And final play, three plays, seven yards and punt. But you look at it, only one real sustained drive in the midst of the 40-yard field goal. Exactly. Now Young calling it his own. Man, struggling for about four. Out to the 40. Jim Knox 
Okay, Joe just got through talking to Mac Brown. He said, yeah, time of the possession was a key in the first half. Oklahoma State had the ball for 50 snaps. They had it for 29. He did say they have momentum, he feels, going in the second half, but they scored right before halftime. Mac did say also they have to do a better job third down conversions against Oklahoma State. And guys, I tell you what, Texas came out the second half and fired up a bunch. Vincent Young led the team out to the field, yelling at everybody, saying, let's go, let's go, let's get it done. We'll see what happens. Well, Texas was awful. They were one of six on third down tries Vincent Young again Man, hit from behind falling close to the first down but short the great got him around the ankles but he's short by two it'll be third and a deuce well the story is right here these last three feet uh, 29 uh, 29 snaps as opposed to 50 because conversion of third down no third downs no extra plays no time of possession those three all are related right there and Oklahoma State was more effective converting third down kept the ball ran more plays Time of possession, though, of course, can be one of the most misleading stats in all of football. Now, can they get the first down? Yes. Benson up to the 47, give him the 48-yard line. John Holland in on the hit. What explosion, though, by Benson. Benson finishes every run, but it starts up front. Come off the line of scrimmage and wash people down. Knock people backwards. Pancake people. Throw syrup on them. Let Benson run. Back to back first downs and on the ground Benson got the first he got the second on third and short and close to the 48 on a drive that started at the 20 young will stay in the gun. So three wide receivers set. He's got time over the middle and the completion for another first down down to the 32 post gate taking it in. That was quite a shot Albert Craig put on. Victor the Great put a shot on Vincent Young as well. Victor the Great, the linebacker, came clean. Watch him right here on little stunt. And inside, linebacker loot, nobody hits him. Boom. Shot to Young. That is an unbelievable throw between two defenders while he's being knocked around in the pocket. That guy can play. Plenty of upside, to say the least. From the 32 of Oklahoma State. Benson adjusting very nicely. We had a big gain of seven on first down outside of the 25. Again, Craig forced to make this stop in the secondary. Boy, Texas has come out of the locker room ready. I mean, this drive is pretty uh, <laughs> pretty well executed to this point. Well, last year, or last week rather, they just beat up Nebraska in the trenches. Now their leaders starting to take over. We have not seen Roy Williams yet in the second half. All five catches for 120 yards in the first half. Well, look at that trio. I mean, serious yards per play. Naked on the edge. Vince Young, and he's got a first down. Now, that's probably a touchdown saving tackle over there by Jones, the cornerback, because nobody was home on the outside. Little naked bootleg. You said, how do you like him naked on the edge? Yeah, I mean that's. Uh, you know what? I think he. I, I think he may have decided that that thing looked as out of sorts though. He was never looking to throw the football. I think he may have reversed out the wrong way, and once he realized he had reversed the wrong way, he just took it by himself. So now a first down to the 19. Benson the eye already 83 yards on 11 carries. Not a bad average. It looks like Young is changing the play. He's got two on the wide side. It's complete. Nice block, Roy Williams. Yep. Taking it in, B.J. Johnson, the senior from Grand Prairie, Texas. He gets the extra yardage because of the play by Williams. Yeah, it was a nice block on John Holland. Roy Williams got the block down the field. You know, you help your teammate in the wide receiver core, and there you saw Roy Williams picking off Holland, and B.J. just couldn't uh, keep his footing. It was an unassisted tackle for the field turf. So from the 14, second and five. Now what a start to the second half, as Dave mentioned. And all this without their big playmaker even touching the football, Roy Williams. Benson blocking ahead, stepping through a tackle and close to another first down just inside the 10. Looks like he's shy by a half a yard. Antonio Smith, the left end, making the stop. We saw this football team, the Texas Longhorns, start the season against New Mexico State. And with, in my opinion, without question, 
the most improved phase of this football team is the offensive line. And Benson is, is the beneficiary on plays like this. Look at them come off the line of scrimmage, sustain blocks, move their feet, showing some great athletic ability. I think Oklahoma's the most athletic line in the Big 12. Texas isn't far behind, though. Young for the first down easily. First and goal, Texas. Nice push. Started back at their own 20, and they've got it inside the eight of Oklahoma State. Don't look like the same team down to the trenches, do they? No, I tell you, whatever was said at halftime, I don't know if they peeled paint or if it was done in a very uh, calm fashion, but the message was delivered. Well, let's face it, last week, 353 rushing yards on 51 carries against the Nebraska defense. It was giving up only 97 a game. And, and you look at the versatility of this Texas football team. Last year, they threw the ball for 419 yards against Nebraska to win it. Last week, they rushed it for 353 to win it. On first down, Benson finds a lane, breaks a tackle, Ooh. close. Short of the goal line by a yard, John Holland got him by the ankle. And that's what we're talking about, yards after contact, yards after first hit, finishing runs. Benson running like a man possessed tonight. Nice blocking, his fullback gets a little lead block for him. Bo Scaife doing a good job on the edge. You like those yaks, yards after contact? Absolutely. You lower your shoulders, pads, you get that pad level down and burst through people. Benson, Yak 15 attack. rushing touchdowns this year. Will it be 16? Benson's in. Touchdown, Texas. And the Longhorns have the lead. Boy, that was methodical, wasn't it? 80 yards very easily. They just uh, sliced and diced them. Uh, they threw the ball when they, when they wanted to, not because they had to, because their running game was in high gear. So the 40th career score for Cedric Benson finishes off a 12 play 80 yard drive and unfortunately the Cowboy is down Antonio Smith. Yes. Run of the first snap of the second half. So he is one touchdown away from tying Earl Campbell for second all time on the Horns rushing touchdown list. He'd still be. Light years beyond Ricky Williams. <laughs> Just 34. Here you go. For two, believe it or not. Moving the pocket for Vince Young. And hopped into the air and picked off. Dern's got it. The linebacker, the sophomore, hit, and that'll do it. And a flag at the end of the play. It's going to be a personal foul, I believe, at the end of the play on Texas. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't know if they call Jason Glenn the, the center a little extracurricular going on down there or not. I, I'm still trying to determine why to go for two there. I, I'm I, I just I'm puzzled on it at, at this stage of the game. You know, last Monday was it last Monday night we saw belly flop called. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you're liable to hear anything. We have a dead ball, personal foul on Texas. It'll be penalized 15 yards. They'll be kicking from the 20 yard line. Thank you. Very demonstrative. So Cedric Benson. The key to the drive and the success of the horn so far tonight as Texas leads by four. Being Russell Crowe for a day, I'll tell you that. <laughs> You're just uh, looking for his leftovers. Man, a shove it. So the kickoff, <laughs> that's supposed to come out of my mouth, not yours. Yeah, really. 9.26 to play in the third. The personal foul at Richmond McGee back in his own 20. Jones and Marenzi. Well, that uh, two-point conversion decision turned out to be a catastrophe. Didn't yes. execute it and got a penalty that's going to give Oklahoma State potential nice field position. Now hitting it into the wind. It is going to be Marenzi from the 15. And great field positions you mentioned already. Across the 35, he's out to the 38. Well, here's, here's the drive that was just the best drive of the night. 16 plays, 76 yards for a touchdown. That was, uh, that was a monster. Pretty good drive here. Had to settle for the field goal, the long field goal opportunity, though. Look at those. Look at those. Uh, he had a 52-yard field goal, and he had a 53-yard field goal, I believe. In, in that half uh, pretty pretty nice job of kicking the football but neither team other than uh, the one long drive 16 plays 76 yards the only sustained drive really by either team 
in that first half. And then Texas comes right out of the locker room to start the third quarter and goes on a monster. And leading rusher in the nation. Don't forget he had ankle problems last season as right, well. Right. Renzi is going to get most of the duty back there. We saw Seymour Shaw as well. This lie of the fullback. Now the pressure on Fields. Fields in trouble. And Fields on his way down. Big time sack in there. Marcus Tubbs. He just wouldn't be denied. He got him by the collar. And then it slid down to the bottom of the jersey. But he would not let go. The senior from DeSoto. This was the uh, exact same blitz that Texas used in the first half. Fields ended up throwing the ball to Juan Woods in the first half successfully. Watch the blitz. Watch the blitz pick up right in here, giving Fields an opportunity to potentially right here. Fake. Nice blitz pick up. Nowhere to go with the ball. And then the secondary rush gets to Fields. Good coverage down the field. Loss of nine, second and 19. They're out on the edge waiting for Fields on the comeback route. He couldn't get anything behind it. Trying to get it out to his wide receiver. So Josh Fields, he's still a little bit in pain. You can understand why after he was taken out by Tubbs on the sack and has become bitterly cold. You know, the damp air we've had all day and all night and the fine mist falling. He looks like he's bitten an aspirin with good reason. <laughs> this is tough. 835 left in the third. And third and long. All the way back at the 28 for Oklahoma State. Joel Myers, Dave Latin in Stillwater. Momentum belongs to Texas. Now can Fields negotiate the third and long over the middle. He does it. First down. DeWan, not Rashawn. The younger Woods gets it all the way to the 47 against the sixth best pass defense in the nation. Cedric Griffin on the coverage. Fields has a nice touch in the middle of the football field, and he has good vision for the middle of the field. He understands the angles, angles very, very well. Check it out right here. He, the, he just gets the football over the linebackers in front of the safeties with regularity. He has a, a good depth perception throwing the ball down the middle of the field like that. Good to have you with us on Fox Sports Net tonight. We've just been joined in New York. As trying to put it up top again, it's battered away perfectly from Rashawn Woods. Vasher got there in time. Vasher's been a blanket on Rashawn. We talk about four for 43 yards, and that's all he's been able to get. We'll give Vasher a lot of credit. Woods does have a touchdown reception, but it wasn't an easy one. Yeah, when they go man coverage, Vasher's the guy that locks up on Rashawn Woods. No doubt about it, Joe. You're right. When they go zone and they give a safety help with the corner on Rashawn Woods, they use somebody else. But when it's mano, mano, it's Vasher, Rashawn Woods. And here they go. At the top, whoa, at the top of the screen, there's, there's Rashawn Woods. They've thrown in his direction 11 times with four successful ones. Lorenzi loses it. It looks like it's headed to the sideline, and it does. Boy, you talk about picking up a first down. Oof. Boy. Tell you, look, it almost looked like he pitched that thing forward. I mean, he, right, they, he lost it so quickly. He was trying they'll to, bring it back to the point right, of where the he lost it. Where he lost it, exactly. You can't gain yardage because you, you could intentionally throw it ahead 10 yards if you're right by the sideline and pick up those 10 yards. Can't allow that. We had a forward fumble that went out of bounds. We will come back to the spot of the fumble. It'll be second down. Why do I feel like the clock third down. Steve Uzcheck doesn't need a microphone tonight? Yeah, really. He's very vocal. <laughs> He's in good voice tonight. But the ball, the ball is the ball is gone. I mean, and then it's kicked, and it's kicked to the sideline, and there it goes the oblong, oblong football as it's kicked out of bounds. That thing bounces weird. It, it doesn't bounce true. There's the ball, and it's kicked. Now it's off to the races. Took a took a, a left turn, out of bounds. So now it's going to be third and long as they bring it back outside of the 44. Seymour Shaw joining Fields in the backfield, replacing Morency. Off the edge, they pick up the blitz. Fields, the comeback, couldn't get it there. The wide side of the field, DeWan Woods had already slipped once. Yeah, he fell down coming out of his cut. You're right, Joel. As he came out of his cut, he went to his knees. And then the timing's disrupted. Now that takes a serious, serious arm to get it to that side. Yeah, the ball's in the air for a while. Opposite hash mark. That's a long throw to that sideline. You know, at the top of the screen, Woods uh, Wood slips. Pretty good uh, pass protection right there. As Woods is coming out of his cut, fell to his knees and lost the timing. 
Nathan Basher going back for the punt at the 10. See if Farden can keep it away from one of the better ones in the nation. Here comes the pressure. He barely got it away. And he did a good job. Got a bad break on the roll. Is going to roll outside of the 20. But it hit right at the 15. Went away from Basher, who couldn't touch it. It'll be first and 10 for Texas at their own 21 when we come back. As the Longhorns lead by four. Momentum continues to be on the side of Texas in the outset of the second half. Will it continue, though, on their second possession? This is win. Now, first and 10, Texas. At the 21. And right out of the box, Vince Young audibleizing. If Benson, power running. Across the 25, he's got four, four and a half. The great needs him there. And now let's see if they go back to what they did so well against Nebraska, just beat them up in the trenches. Well, they did. They just took control of the line of scrimmage and played keep away. They they had a time of possession advantage in the first quarter, 11 minutes to 11 minutes and change to three minutes and change, and they did it again in the fourth quarter. And in the fourth quarter of that football game from Mac Brown, Benson ran for 80 yards against Nebraska in the fourth quarter alone. He finished the game strong. Right now, 100 more yards total offense for Texas. Despite the fact that they have not had as many snaps. Double digits, fewer snaps. It'll be Benson again. He's got another first down. Just cut it back against the pursuit. He's got it out to the 33. Dropped by Robert Jones. Nice job up front by the big fellas. Sustaining their blocks. That's that's the key, is is it, you don't you don't necessarily have to knock guys five yards backwards. But if you maintain contact and give a lane and a, and a cutback opportunity, you cut somebody off or, or cut somebody in half and take them to the ground, Benson will find it. First Longhorn to start his career with back-to-back 1,000-yard -back seasons. He should have another before it's all over this year. Tonight, he's got 16 carries for 107 yards. And now Young going deep. Has Roy Williams. First down all the way inside the 35, and he won't quit on it, will he? Look at this. Take the stack with you. Whoa. What about strength by a wide receiver and his teammates? That whole sideline was going with him. Big Roy fired up. That was like a rugby scrum. Man, they just kept going and going. He was that you talk about contact balance. You talk about rack, run after catch. <laughs> Roy's all fired up. You know what? It's hard to knock him off his feet, though, because they're size 16. <laughs> Good base. Good Real base. base. Yeah. It's like one of those rock em, sock em robots. It, 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 he runs the post, and now he runs people over. And Roy's saying, I'm not going down. And, and they're trying to body slam him, sumo wrestle him. No way. Benson spinning. Doesn't get much. Maybe two. It'll bring up second and long. Brad Gertman with a tackle taking care of at that time. Boy, did that pump up his whole team, though, as well. Boy, here, here's the original contact, okay, 38-yard line. Now he's over the 40. Now he's heading to the 45. You know, now he, this is unbelievable. I mean, everybody's in on the act. Everybody, you know what? Every one of them, he has to collect five tokens. Every one of them need to give him a token for that ride they took because it was a heck of a ride. Roy Williams provided five defenders. And now a timeout has been called. So the Longhorns use an early one in the third quarter. 5-17 remaining. Momentum continues to belong to Texas, the number 11 team in the nation. They lead it by four. There's not enough antifreeze in the world to pull off what they're pulling off right now. It is cold. It's in the 30s. Ah, to be young again. Unbelievable. Jeez. So the emotion from the sideline after the Williams catch is carried over. There are not a lot of fans that made it from Austin, but those that made it, they're making up for the lack of numbers. Oh, yeah. I saw some four-inch goosebumps over there, I think. <laughs> Selvin Young in the backfield. And now, Vince Young, quarterback draw, and he's got room. The block downfield, and he gets two for a touchdown. Wow. The wide receiver. Jeffrey. And B.J. Johnson earlier. Oof. Boy, Tony Jeffrey was great inside the five-yard line, and, and Oklahoma State came with a blitz, and Vince Young ran the quarterback draw away from the side that Oklahoma State blitzed the linebacker. And once he got past the linebacker level, it was like, goodbye. Look at Jeffrey. Yeah. Look at him sustaining contact down the football field. That is outstanding work. Vince Young should go to Jeffrey and say, 
You get a major assist on that touchdown. And you know what was the nicest part about it all? You know who was the first guy to grab him over there? Chance Mott. That's true. Boy, that says a lot. That, that, what a, what a lot character. Of, yeah, it sure does. That's the guy that was their starting quarterback at the outset of the season. That's a team player. Mangum gets the extra point. Glad they didn't go for two. Well, you talk about <laughs> a huge blade. Man. 27-16, Texas by 11. Great run by Vince Young, but blocking downfield by wide receivers made it possible. Well, absolutely. They come with a safety blitz, though. Then the fake to Benson. Watch it pull the linebacker. And here comes Forever Young. Blitz, fake to Benson, linebacker gone. Now down the field, nice block. Down the field, nice block. Boy, wide receivers doing a job for their quarterback. Outstanding execution and a lapse defensively at the linebacker level. McGee will kick it away. Morenzi over to the near side. It'll be Jones actually taking it from the five. Coverage downfield, breaking tackles though. And almost slipped through. He's out to the 25. So Oklahoma State deep in their own territory and now in trouble of losing control completely on their home field where they've won 10 straight. Nissan scoring drive only took 224 that time. Now the encouraging part most of the time it's the other way around 194 on the ground right. as opposed to the passing yards for Vince Young. So that's starting to come together for him as well. We're watching the development and the maturation of a young quarterback that is going to be special. Seymour Shaw in the backfield. And now Oklahoma State on the ropes and about to take a knockout punch if they don't get at least one first down. They're down by 11 but they haven't done a thing yet in the third quarter. Mike Williams in on the hit. Look at the, the left. Uh, look at the thumb here. Taped up a little gatekeeper's thumb. He cut it. And, and Josh Fields, that's uh, battle wounds right there. That's uh, Texas coming after him and, and pressuring the quarterback and him getting knocked around a little bit. Looked like a very nice tape job, though. Tight. Stays like this. It's going to be a quick fourth quarter because Texas is just going to pound him. Bajima slides in motion. Oh, they hit on fields and couldn't get it away in time. The play for the Longhorns made by Kalen Thornton off the edge. Blind side. The senior from St. Mark's High School in Dallas. Josh Fields never felt him coming, never heard him coming. He got uh, lit up. And here comes Thornton. Took an inside rush. Whiff. Boom. That, uh, that hurts. Looked like his dad. Bruce at Illinois and then with the Cowboys and the Cardinals. So now it's going to be third and long. Texas by 11. That's the ranking as well. And Gabe Lindsay comes in as the third wide receiver. Pocket holds up better for Fields. Whoa. Intercepted. Taking it down the sideline. Easy score. Touchdown Michael Huff. Boy, Michael Huff just absolutely jumped the route that Gabe Lindsay ran in the slot. And he broke on that football, and it was see ya later. Texas is the only uh, the only Big 12 opponent that Les Miles and his football team has not been able to knock off. They've beaten Nebraska, they've beaten Texas A&M, they've beaten Oklahoma, they beat them two years in a row prior to this year's or last week's blowout loss. They have not been able to corral the Longhorns and Texas uh, another deep boy their special teams in, in, in defense scores with regularity. Do you think they should go for two? Dusty Mangum in for the point after. It's perfect. The uh, defense and special teams now have scored eight touchdowns responsible for 56 points this season. And this is just great reaction. Reading Fields' eyes, breaks on the football. That's a a momentum builder for your for your football team and, a, and just a deflator for the Cowboys. So Michael Huff, who's got the strong safety start tonight, a sophomore from Irving, Texas. It's only his second season. He started every game last year. So they've got experience coming back, despite the fact that they're going to lose Basher, the senior from Texarkana, who was a second team. All Big 12 performer last year. How about this for Huff? That's his fourth interception of his career. He's returned them all for touchdowns. 
All four of his interceptions in his career have been returned for touchdowns to this year and to his freshman year. That is remarkable to take every interception to the house and put points on the board off a turnover. Man. Weather's just a bit different in Austin, but it's not affecting the Longhorns right now. I was in San Antonio a couple of nights ago. Very comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> He's in the high 30s here in Stillwater. There's a little nip in the air, no question about that. Jack Frost is uh, running around somewhere out here. I think he's close. So McGee will kick it away, hitting it into the wind. Darren Williams back deep with Vernon Lorenzi. And Texas dominating this third quarter. So the adjustments they made, Carl Reese, Greg Davis, and Mac Brown, the head coach. The touchback at Oklahoma State, back at their own 20. Oh. On first down, Shaw is the only one behind Fields. Oh. The slot man moves over to the far side. Lindsay. Gabe Lindsay. Yeah. That'll cost him five. I don't know about you, Joel, but I'm very impressed with Noxy on the sideline. I need Granimal tags to match that well. He has that blue scarf going with that blue overcoat. He's looking very dapper. You know why, don't you? Because he's excited. Mark off of five. And it's back at the 15. It's going to be first and 15. Getting away from us early, isn't it? <laughs> Seymour Shaw spins for a yard out to the 16. It'll be second and 14. Kalen Thornton on top of the situation again. Well, time now for tonight's trivia question, all brought to you by Met Life. What three players have had their numbers retired by Oklahoma State? Yep. Two real easy because they're very recent. I, I got a hint for you. They all play the same position. <laughs> Is that too big a hint, you think? You think? Why don't you give initials next time? <laughs> Inside, a four to play in the third. Second and 14. Fields in trouble. Got away from Thornton that time, though. And behind his intended target. That's a tough throw to square up. And he tried to get it to Billy Badgeman as tied in. And you, you saw right there, Josh Fields does not have great flexibility in the hips. When he rolls to his right and has to throw back across his body, which is a dangerous thing to do anyway. What a little stiff in the hips. It, 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 watch him try to throw back across his body and struggles with it and struggles with the accuracy a little bit. Uh, tough, tough thing to do though when you're on the run like that and you know that defensive linebackers and linemen are just breathing down your neck. So now third and 14. Third down conversions is strong suit in the first half for Oklahoma State. They're still 7 of 14. They have not been able to do it much in the second half. Fields in trouble and on his way down back at the five. Roderick Wright. Roderick Wright all over it. About of A. Leaf Hastings in Houston. He's only a sophomore. That's his uh, six and a half sacks on the season now for the big fella. Leading the down lineman. And he is an athletic big man. Well, since. The 520 free mark. Get to it in a moment. Well, that's just getting beaten so quickly at the line of scrimmage. Josh Fields is, just has to assume the fetal position and protect himself. Yeah, the defensive freshman of the year, the Big 12 last season. And he was a true freshman last year, making the play. Cole Farden punts it away, staying away from it. Nathan Basher. Man, it's going to be grabbed at about the 47 yard line. So that's where. Texans going to have Texas is going to have it at the 47 of Oklahoma State. Believe it or not, this is the first time they've started in plus territory on that side of the 50. Back to our MetLife trivia. The three numbers that have been retired Oklahoma State Cowboy history. Well, of course, uh, Barry Sanders being one of those. How about Thurman Thomas? Thurman Thomas, another, and Terry Miller, number 43, played in the, in the late, late 70s, mid 70s, I should say. And, you know, Tatum Bell is another running back uh, that's. Not amongst those guys in terms of numbers, but Tatum Bell is having a dominant season this year for Oklahoma State and get nicked up tonight. Could be a different game if he was in there. Now Benson going low, big yardage. She gets nine on first down. What about the push of the offensive line? He wasn't touched to lose five, six yards off it. Yeah, they're just rolling right now. Well, since the score, the 10 yard touchdown pass to Rashawn Woods with 523 left in the first half, Texas. Was trailing at that point 16 to 7. They have outscored Oklahoma State 27 to nothing on the field that Oklahoma State has not lost 
in the last 10 games. They've won 10 straight at home. Well, they're getting physical now. You know, this team has been criticized for being a little soft. No more. Came out of the Oklahoma matchup. Benson shifting his way inside the 35 down to the 32 for another first down ransom in on that hit this is a, a team that's a high profile group of players a lot of parade all americans a lot of high school all americans all conference all state players and a lot of people thought you know they're a little too hoity-toity too impressed with themselves and too soft they've gotten blue collar and they are running the football right down people's collective throats On first down, lane for Benson. You won't get him that way. And he's down inside the 15 all the way, close to the 11. No, that's a, that, that's a, that's a, a brutally tough matchup for Williams at 5'9", at 170 pounds. And Benson comes rolling out of there at uh, six feet, two and a quarter. And you're the guy that has to make the first hit. And this is what it looks like. Okay, you're 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 Durant Williams, and here comes a Benson. You got to wrap your arms up. Benson gets another 10 yards after contact. He's been uh, racking or yakking it up pretty good yards after contact for him. You can yet look at uh, Benson uh, over a third of his uh, yards, getting near half his yards, 40 percent I'd say, somewhere in there. Yeah. It'll be Benson, big hole. Down inside the seven on first and ten from outside of the eleven. DeGrate. DeGrate has done his work tonight. He has made some stops. And this is a true freshman, Joel. You know, it's last year he was playing high school football. Now he's lining up against a very, very talented football team, the Longhorns. It's a big adjustment for any high school kid, and he's doing it well. He's got a he's got a college uh, linebacker body on him though. 6'3, 235 pounds. They can get the first down just inside the one. It's already 34-16. The fullback gets it, and he won't be denied. Touchdown, Texas. And Will Matthews gets his second of the night. How about his second of the season? I'll tell you what Texas is doing now with Vincent Young in the football game. You're so concerned defensively about him getting outside. And they're starting to get Benson outside a little bit more readily, too. And they get you spread out. You know, you, you start to defend the, the width of the football field. And, and then all of a sudden, boom, they hit you with a quick hitter up the middle with the fullback. They, uh, they got a nice little scheme going now. Greg Davis is on a roll calling plays. So with 59 seconds left in the third quarter, it has become a certifiable blowout. Point after. Man, the line drive by Magnum makes it 41 to 16. So that's now 34 straight points by the Texas Longhorns. Well, whatever was said or done at halftime, bottle it up. Watch the fullback. Boom. Nice little cup. They didn't even block the backside. Another missed tackle. Oklahoma State has not been, you know, one of the one of the keys for them was sure tackling. And they haven't done it wrong. And, and whatever Mac did or said at halftime, bottle it, sell it, you make a lot of money. Because his team responded. And Mac Brown has never lost to the Cowboys. He is now 6-0 right. against Oklahoma State with a win tonight. Granted, there's still plenty of time, but there's nothing that leads you to believe that Oklahoma State's going to come back from a 25-point deficit. McGee will kick it away. Marenzi and Jones back deep again. So Texas back home on Fox Sports Net next Saturday night, taking on Simmons, Texas Tech. It'll be Jones from the 10. Good coverage downfield. Barely gets to the 25. So Oklahoma State just struggling for first downs here in the second half after they had a 16-14 lead at the break. Have a deficit to overcome now. On first down, Shaw, big hole. Whoa. Past the 40. He'll be chased down, but he's got a great gain on first down. He's pulled down in the secondary by Cedric Griffin. He's doing the worm, or is he hurt? Jeez, looks like he's injured. There's no doubt he's hurt. Took a, took a body slam. Hey, boy, your upper body, when you hit this, you know, the contact's one thing. Then it's the second contact when you hit the turf with another body on you. That second hit with, the, with another 300 a little bit when Griffin fell across the top of him. He looks like he's limping more than anything, so... 
Who knows? I think it's the cold and the pain. It's a combination <laughs> that, of things. You know things. what? You know, hitting that turf in cold weather is not pleasant. I've been there before. Morenci takes over. They have trips on the wide side of the field from the 47. It's a first down. And Morenci, with a head of steam, spun around inside the 45 and put down to the 43 by Derek Johnson. Now that's most likely going to be the final snap, but dominating third quarter for Texas. They had drives in the quarter of 80 yards, 79 yards in the last one. Well, only 47 because they started at the 47 yard line. They needed 80. They probably would have gotten it. So that'll do it for the third 15 minutes of play. A very frustrating one for Josh Field and the Cowboys of Oklahoma State. What's the solution? Only 15 minutes left. Tough right now for Les Miles with his junior quarterback, Josh Fields. Our game summary brought to you by Pioneer and 34 straight for Texas after they were down 16 to 7, Dave. Boy, and look at the total yards a couple of football fields now. And Benson and Young picking right up where they left off against Nebraska. Rushing the ball again for over 230 yards combined. Well, 241 on the ground for Texas right now, picking up 353 against Nebraska last week. Renzi, and he's the only healthy one they have in their top three right now. Michael Griffin trips him up. He's close to the first down. He needed to get inside the 37. They'll put him right outside of it. So the second snap of the fourth quarter is going to be third and less than a yard. And I think it's four down territory everywhere now. You know, down by this point, uh, th this many points at this stage of the football game. I don't think you settle for putting three on the board. You got to score touchdowns. And you had a bad feeling early in this game when Tatum Bell went out at the end of the first quarter, and she's been lost ever since with an ankle injury. Now Fields in trouble, and almost a perfect throw, trying to get it out to Dewan Woods. Well, he had a nice, nicely timed little push off there. The Woods brothers are well schooled in the Michael Irvin uh, game of. Of you know just using those big bodies to get separation, push off at the right time, just to, just at the ball's arrival to get that last bit of separation. Only needing about a half yard. They weren't looking for a first down. They were looking for a lot more. Right on. So 45 seconds gone in the fourth. Now fourth and less than a yard. Lorenzi, he should have had enough. Let's see where they spot it. Boy, it's it's close. Well, he's not getting the spot he needed. I'll tell you that right now. Yeah. I thought he was inside the 37. When they started to drive him back, I think it may go back to Texas now. I think it may too. Texas, the sideline exploded immediately. Uh, they, and Mac Brown was looking right down the line of scrim scrimmage on the right by the chain gang, and he thinks that uh, Oklahoma State came up short. Texas is definitely peaking at the right time of the year. Second straight week, fourth time over the last six games, they have faced a top 25 team. Well, that's uh, that's just a pretty good surge. The defensive linemen tie everybody up, and then the linebackers and safeties over they're the top. Short. And they're now, short. What a job by Aaron Harris again on a solo tackle. Yeah, and, and also Michael Huff came in there off the edge and slowed it up, and then in came big backer Aaron Harris, like you said, to finish it up. So they got greedy on third down, failed on fourth down, and Texas gets it back outside of their own 37. Well, this week, Fox NF, nothing there for Benson. One of the few times that has happened in the second half tonight. A yard, yard and a half the most. Ball Duran makes the uh, hit. So Texas coming around, and obviously the low point of their season came at the Cotton Bowl. Besides that, their other loss, and it was a shot, Arkansas. At Austin very early in the season. That was before Vince Young was a huge factor. It was. It was before Vince Young entered the fray and, and out of that shotgun, running the ball with the quarterback run package. It's a different team now. Benson, good vision. Just to get that much out of it across the 42 near the 43. Clay Coe in on the hit. You know, this Texas football team, Joel, is one of six uh, teams in the country that are in the top 25, both offensively and defensively. You know, they. they they seem to have the hiccup, though. Like you, you described, the two games that were that were the problem is. But as we talked about in the first half, they always seem to be playing their best football at the right time at right. the end of the season. But there's not a playoff format as such, like you know, in the National Football League. There's no question that Max done a good job of the program oh, here absolutely. in his sixth year. The one problem is the Cotton Bowl continues to be a home field advantage for Oklahoma. Right. That's something they have to figure out. Now, Vince Young. On third down, will they be able to get away this time? No. Finally, they get the elusive one. 
Duran cleaned up. Earlier, though, slowing him down was Greg Richmond, the leader in sacks for this team, and also among the nation's leader in sacks. You know, the, uh, we were talking about Mac Brown and how you know, Oklahoma in, in, in that matchup. Boy, that'll frustrate you. Yeah. Oklahoma, you know, unfortunately for Texas and, and Mac Brown, Oklahoma under Bob Stoops turned that program around so fast and they've won a national championship and they've competed for others and they're on track again. And in, in, in that's a conference opponent. When he did such a great job at North Carolina, Bobby was on a roll at Florida State recruiting all these kids and, and winning national championships. And Mac had a great team, but Florida State's in his conference, so he's, he's been uh, he's been blessed, but then you know cursed by just one team. That, uh, that put it together so well. Now it's going to be third and short after the mark off. Benson for the first down. Blowing by them. And he's got it inside the 40. What a hit. Yeah, blowing by him and through him. Oh, man, he ran right through Robert Jones. Robert Jones got uh, on the edge, number six in the orange jersey, right? Yeah. Ba boom, boom, see ya. Stiff arm, bye bye. Extra. About 12 yards and really wasn't tackled. Uh, unassisted tackle again for turf field. Grabbed up or the turf uh, monster grabbed up and reached that big toe. Well, up and down. The only question now, you're up 41 to 16. You've got Tech at home next week. You're rounding out your regular season. How much longer do you go with Benson in the field? Less than 12 minutes to play. It should be his final drive. If he even stays out there la that long. Benson with a huge hole over the right side. Brought down from behind. It was Thomas Wright that time, but good yardage down to the 30. And fortunately for everybody, Benson stays in bounds. And Vince Young, you know, do you keep him in? Because now you're seeing the maturation and development of a young quarterback, and Mac wants him to get snaps right. and, and expedite that process. But like we talked about earlier, you pointed out, Joel, the first guy to congratulate Vince Young whenever he comes to the sideline is the ultimate team guy, Chance Mock. So, you know, Mac. Do I, you know, do I give Chance more snaps? Do I develop my young guy? It, it's not a problem because Chance Mock, Mock is not making it a problem. There's no controversy at all, and you got to credit Chance Mock for that. That's a kid with character. Yep. His dad, Mike, who was a linebacker at Tech and with the Jets, has a lot to be proud of. He's going to be a success whatever he decides to do. Better. Now on second and short. Benson slithers his way back inside. Short of the first down, the great tripped him up. I think he's short by about a foot or two. And our Bank of America, higher standards. The play of Young and Benson. And Benson is going to be back next year. Young, only a freshman. What? Right. Look what they did last week and following it up tonight. Are you serious? We're just a, uh, you talk about a one two punch, a guy on the edge. It can scare you to death, and then Benson will pound away on you. First down. Look at this. Vince Another scrum. Young taking this pile with him to the 20. Wow. So I'll tell you, Mac McWhorter has done one heck of a job, the offensive line coach for Texas. He's got these guys coming off the line of scrimmage, and they, were, they just went shoulder pad to shoulder pad. It was like the flying wedge out there. There is so much talent. On this group offensively, as we approach the 10 minute mark, you mentioned it earlier so many high school first team All Americans. Oh, yeah. But, and I want to get back to your thought on Bob Stoops. Bob Stoops went into Texas and got the number one quarterback in the high school ranks again. So he's going to be coming to Oklahoma as it's a gain of three on the carry. Yeah, but if I'm a high school quarterback in Texas and I see Vince Young, I'm, I'm thinking he's going to be there a while. I'm not sure. I can't beat out Vince Young. You know, I mean, I think that's tough to recruit a guy when you have a stud. And Bob Stoops also this year has a true freshman, one of the great quarterbacks in the state of California last year. Right. Who is going to redshirt. He, they didn't need him. He's 6'7", and he throws rockets with good footwork for a 6'7 kid. You know, what? what's going on today? Is it vitamins or... I mean, what is it? These guys, these kids are just, they're not kids. They are just genetic phenomenons is what they are. There's a great kid right there. That's a class act all the way. Top shelf. Top shelf. Team, team players. And now second and seven. It's Benson making it difficult to get a clean shot at it. He got it down to the 14. Ransom finally wrapped him up. You know, it's again that contact balance. 
Yeah, that's difficult. You know, you, you, you're going through the line of scrimmage and somebody just knocks the, 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 the ever living daylights out of you from the side and you keep your balance. Well, coach, uh, Samson coaching his basketball team, Stoops his football team. Joe knows what's up. It'll be Selvin Young this time. Close to the 10 for the first down on his first carry of the night. Uh, the, uh, it all starts up front, Joel, in uh, Texas. I wasn't surprised Texas beat Nebraska in Austin because of that home field advantage, but it's how they beat them. Outrushing them by 300 yards, 353 yards to 53. You outrush Nebraska by three football fields, that's dramatic. And now they're taking control of the line of scrimmage in the second half tonight, just like they did against the Cornhuskers. And they're almost 2-1 to one in total yardage right now. They're 488 to 253. So it's going to be fourth and inches. Selvin Young stays in the backfield in the eye behind Will Matthews. Young on the outside, and well, let's see where they spot it. He got it inside the 10. That's where he needed to go. Thomas Wright drove him back. It should be enough for a first and goal. I believe it will. Yeah. Texas is playing keep Robert away. Robert Jones hurt on that play as well. Texas is uh, absolutely just playing keep away. Tight end in motion, gets the edge blocked, and Ooh, man, talk about getting buckled. You, you know, he Robert Jones, Jones, Jones took a knee to the chest. Yeah, he did, and, and, he, and he bent back on his knee. He came limping off the field, and bodies fell on his left knee, and he bent his right knee back, and he got hit in the chops. And, man, that's, a, that's you know, a car wreck is, is less uh, contact than that. Every time Texas has had the ball in the second half, they've scored. 80, 79, and 47-yard drives, and they're trying to make this a 63-yarder. And right now, that huddle is just exuding confidence. I mean, they're thinking that uh, call anything. We'll, we'll get it blocked and we'll be successful. Maybe the most impressive part is the road numbers we were talking about. The way they can consistently win on the road in league play. Right. Other than the neutral site, like you mentioned, the right. Bowl, they've had trouble at that neutral site. So now first and goal for the Longhorns. Benson out, Young in, and Selvin's got it. Hole closes in a hurry, but he still stretches it inside the six. You know, and, and, and the, the problem you face when you're Oklahoma State, out goes Benson, who's, you know, got it all timed up. He's in rhythm. But in comes Selvin Young with fresh legs. And the offensive line's been wearing you down. You're trying to get off those big bodies up front. And in comes a guy going 100,000 miles an hour with fresh legs. So it's not like Selvin Young's not a good back. That's the problem you face is they, they keep coming like the Marines hitting the beach in waves. Seems like a half-hour drive this time, doesn't it? Got to feel that way for Oklahoma State and their fans. Right. Yeah, that's it. The first four possessions struggle, the last seven. In the eye, second and goal from the six. Will Matthews, will it be his third score? Yes. How about Will Matthews? Didn't score all year. And now in game number 10, <laughs> the trifecta for Will Matthews. I'll tell you, let the big dog eat. Like I said before, the fullback, all he does is lead block on those linebackers for his tailback. And Mac Brown said, you know what, Will? Tonight you get your reward. And he's been rewarded three times. He comes off the field raising three fig fingers saying, I did it three times. How about me? <laughs> Actually, though, a big part of it goes to the big boys up front just knocking them backwards. Look at Will. That's, that, that's a pretty good dance there. No, I wouldn't take it to dance fever, Bobby. What is the robot? What's he doing? 614 left. Matthew with the point after. And now it is 48 to 16. So 41 straight points after a 16-7 deficit for the Longhorns. They'll be in the top 10 next week. 32-point lead for Texas. Couldn't have figured that at halftime when Oklahoma State had a 16-14 advantage. But Vince Young, in his fourth career start, looking a lot more mature. That is one impressive athlete. You, know, you go to Brad Smith of Missouri, and he's a kid that everybody looks at the same way. All of a sudden, you're no longer a one-dimensional offense. Right. Your quarterback can not only throw real well, but he's on the perimeter. He'll make a miss like a running back. Yeah, the thing, the thing that he's, he's tough with, uh, similar to Brad Smith, is gliding. So Oklahoma State outscored 125 over the last two games because of the game last week against Oklahoma. How about that for back-to-backers? Big 12's got an easy way, doesn't it? Great schedule. Who makes the schedule around here? <laughs> As they beat Baylor. Baylor's an improved squad. There's a flag down on the play. 
Greg Gold took it at tailback. He's the new running back. Bigley's in there now at quarterback. Jamie Bigley has taken over for Josh Fields. Bigley, the Redford freshman. The flag on the play here. Got a personal foul on the defense. Illegal hand to the face. We'll tack it on at the end of the run. I think it was a wide receiver and the corner on press coverage. Yeah, exactly. Came off the line of scrimmage. Senior quarterbacks in the Heisman watch. It's uh, I still think it's Jason White's Heisman to lose. Well, I'll tell you something. Marilyn Woodson overtook Peyton Manning. Sure. Well, and sure. it's overtook him in the last five, six games of that season. You're right. I think Eli Manning may get one for his brother in the last five, six games of his career. Yeah, and, and Simmons, uh, B.J. Simmons had a, had another big game today. He threw for seven touchdown passes, and he, he's in the hunt. But you're right, Eli. Did did, uh, did Ole Miss beat Auburn? Because they that was a big game. They tonight. were down late, 20 to 17. If I'm not mistaken, but I know we'll get a word on that in a moment. Now that we brought it up. Because if if. They run by gold, a gain of three, and how about Jim Knox? Where is the guy tonight? Hey, Joe. Hey, there we go. Let me tell you something. We got an email from Johnny Urbano out of Austin. <laughs> Send clothes. I thought he was over at Eskimo Joe's too long then. Man, they need some clothes. Those guys going to be chilly willy. Out to the 45. Gold with the run, and he's got a first down. So 5.02 to play. Move the chains. Matt Melton making the hit is now. They're getting some reserves in. For Texas as well. Now you look at their game next week, Texas, Texas Tech. Texas Tech hung one on Texas last uh, year down in Lubbock. And a uh, high scoring football game. And Texas had some injuries and couldn't defend in the secondary, didn't have enough bodies left and uh, lost that football game. A little blood in their eye. You know, revenge the next year. Never really a huge factor once the game gets underway, but I'm sure Texas wants to make amends. Bigley makes everybody really happy around here. Calls a timeout. Now, <laughs> Bowles. We haven't talked about the Bowles situation. Yes. And we'll come back and talk to you about who's going to go to Bowles besides Oklahoma, who should be who's going bowling? in the Sugar Bowl. Absolutely. We'll come right back to Stillwater, Oklahoma. College football. <laughs> another, another country, not just Oklahoma. Oh, ball. It's on the ground, picked up, and there it goes. Man. Another score coming. For the Longhorns, Matt Melton takes it the distance after the fumble by a goal, 47 yards. That's just what Les Miles wanted to see. Well, that's the second defensive touchdown tonight by Texas, and an interception early in the football game by Vasher gave the offense a short field to negotiate, 19 yards. So Texas's defense has stepped up large tonight. Interception, return, touchdown. Fumble return touchdown. Well, that's Carl Reese's group, a guy that we like to talk with a lot. He's a he's a great football coach. Good person. He is. He's the kind of guy you root for. Yeah, he's just, he loves setup. the game, loves the game, and respects the game. Mangum for the point after to make it 55 to 16. He's got it. Now back to the Bulls. And yes, Melton. What a thrill for that young man. Take a look at, uh, at what took place here with gold. Ball security is key. That's just a good tackle. Hit right on the football. Came right across the bow as the, as the hits delivered by, by Griffin. And off to the races. This is Michael Griffin, of course, and then off to the races. Matt Melton. Melton for his touchdown. Redshirt freshman out of Flint, Texas. Face time that he doesn't even know about. Yeah, exactly. Fiesta Bowl is going to be the team from the Big 12 that will finish behind Oklahoma if Oklahoma does win the Big 12 title game. So Oklahoma wins the Big 12 title game. They're undefeated. They're in the Sugar Bowl. Yeah. Then who loses? Then you've got the team losing going to the Fiesta Bowl. Right, right behind them, it's the Cotton Bowl, followed by the Holiday San Antonio's Alamo Bowl. The Independence, Tangerine, Houston, and Fort Worth Bowl on December 23rd of the eight bowls that are aligned with the Big 12. Check this out. Since the uh, loss to, to the Sooners, we've outscored the opponents by 140 points. Wow. That uh, 
the Sooners, the Sooners definitely set the alarm clock. If, if Texas smelled the coffee, they've outscored people by 20 touchdowns. Something, since about, that loss. something about a Longhorn uniform just stands out, doesn't it? For go back to Daryl Royal and before that. Yeah. Mclemore bringing it back from the 10. Man. Runs into unwelcome company at the 24 as Michael Griffin made the hit. How about Texas? Nine touchdowns on returns now. Defense and special teams for the season. 63 points they've accounted for. That uh, that'll win you football games when you don't have to score offensively. And the other two phases hang 63 on the board. Well, when's the last time you saw a team? Score 48 straight points after they were down 16 to 7. Boy, and it, in the first half, uh, it really Oklahoma State did a great job. Texas struggled on third down, and they played keep away because of their third down success. And then in the second half, it unraveled. Greg Jones in there at tailback. Nothing doing over the left side of the yard. Right now, we're just about the only ones left in this ballpark. 4 10 and counting. There are very few around. You can't blame them. It was 44 at kickoff. It's probably mid 30s right now. There was a fine mist falling at the outset of the game. It's November, so you know you're going to run into this at the end of the college football season. You know, an interesting thing about Oklahoma State, Joel, last year they were minus two on the season, won eight football games. Coming into today's game, they were minus one and were seven and two. They've only recovered one fumble all year long. On the outside. That's that's remarkable. They didn't haven't recovered any today. This will be the tenth game of the season, and they will have forced eight fumbles and, and only recovered one of them. Greg Jones brought down by Eric Foreman. It is not inhibited, though, as you mentioned. They came into the game seven to two. Yeah. They, seven and two. That's that's overcoming uh right. you know adversity when you're in, in the minus usually that turnover ratio is the truest stat there is in terms of wins, wins and losses and two seasons in a row now Les's group is, is going to be in the minus category for the season last year and 10 games in minus this year yet have a, a combined record you know have combined for 15 wins at this stage Jones again on the toss sweep and he's belted at the 31 so they lose 52 to 9 last week to Oklahoma 55 on the board for Texas. That's a lot of points given up over two weeks. Yeah, it is. It is. It's a. Uh, it's something that you know they're really going to have to uh, work hard and, and, and dig deep for now because you know now you you start to worry about the confidence factor a little bit. They they face Kansas next week, who's playing good football. But they finish their season at Baylor. And they're banged up too. Mark Mangino's group. But they're one of the most improved teams in the Big 12 this year. They sure are. Give, give, them their give Coach Mangino some credit there. Texas stopping it. We asked for that upstairs. It'll be a 30. Man, now it's time for the call of the day. All brought to you by the Kia Sarah smartphone. First down from the 33. Stretching the got field. Him. He's got Williams. What a grab. Williams breaks the tackle. He'll take it in. Touchdown, Texas. Nice size, speed, ratio, nightmare. Darren Williams could not do a thing at 170 pounds trying to bring down Roy Williams. 5'9, 170 against 6'4, 210. There's Roy Williams. What an athlete. What a future he has in the big show. Nathan Bashley waits for the putt. No fair catch. And at this juncture, that should have been automatic. Vernon Grant down there on the coverage. And actually, Selvin Young took it in, not Nathan Basher. I told you, 3A, 3B. <laughs> and Mac Brown can be the handler, the trainer, not Bob Baffert. <laughs> to 249 to play. And our Dr. Peppers players of the game. The triplets. Because we have more than one and you're right. Yeah, this is remember remember in Dallas the triplets. You got the quarterback, not Troy Aikman, it's Vince Young. Look at the numbers today. 
It's not Emmett Smith. Smith, it's it's Cedric Benson. Look at his numbers today. And a few more yards for Roy Williams, by the way. Yeah, a few more yards for Roy. 162. And, uh, yeah, 162 on six catches, a 67-yard touchdown. He's not Michael Irvin, but Roy Williams. How about that set of triples? We have an illegal substitution against the kicking team. We're going to go back to the previous oh. part and penalize five yards. Do you know the word decline? <laughs> Can you say that? I can spell it even. <laughs> you know, Noble Doss is watching back in Austin tonight. Noble owns the interception record at 17. That is until tonight because Nathan Basher got his 17th tonight. And Noble watching the game in Austin, he has been one of Nathan's biggest supporters. It's a 62-year-old record set between 1939 and 1941. And Noble is now 83, and Noble, I'll tell you something, what a guy. Pulling for Nathan to top his record. Well, Nathan's going to have an opportunity still. He's got Texas Tech at home next week. And Noble, you should be proud. You held that record for 62 years. That's a heck of a feat when you think of all the great defensive backs and linebackers that have come through Texas. So Nathan Basher with his 17th tonight, tying Noble Doss's long record at the University of Texas. And they've got a first down. Taking it across as they give it to Willis, their fullback. So it'll be interesting to see the top teams and how it works out because where is Missouri going to go? Where's that? Missouri lost today. By the way, we mentioned Eli Manning, didn't we? Eli got the win late, 24 to 20 over Auburn, and I would not be shocked to see Eli come through over the next couple of weeks and get that highs, but that Peyton did. If, if they win their division in the SEC, it'll be the first time in over 40 years since his dad, Archie, was a little boy. I mean, I think it's 42 years it's it's been since Ole Miss won the SEC, and I mean, if if, if Eli Manning can get that done. Sensational. Yeah. That's amazing. But because it's not exactly a football factory in Oxford. No, that's true. But if Oklahoma runs the table, that's a, that's really and we're going to be in Austin next week, so it'll be fun to see if Nathan Bashley can get it at home. Yeah. You know, Noble Doss is going to be pulling for him. He's got another first down that'll stop it momentarily Wonder across the 45 to the 46. You know, it's great to know Jim Knox is still. That was a big surprise when he didn't make that list. Good yardage on the give. And another first down down to the 43. That's Greg Jones on the carry. How, how can a guy who now is tied for the Texas career interception record not make one of the 12 finalists at, at cornerback. That, that is mind boggling. It really is. Must be a lot of good corners in this country. That's a, that's a good one right there. Nathan Basher. Good kid. Senior from Texarkana. You know, that's the one thing about both these coaches, Mac Brown and, and Les Miles. I'll tell you after this uh, snap here. Final 40 seconds, Jones again. Both of these coaches, Joel, if I'm a parent, I do not hesitate whatsoever to send my son. He will go to either Texas or Oklahoma State as a boy and four or five years later come out a man because Mac Brown and Les Miles are two of the best at developing young men not only into football players but people yeah. because not all of them play football after they leave here yeah forget about athletics completely yep I agree with you I mean in, in both programs here it's a, it's it, it's an extended family and they treat it like that Jones again and that could be the final snap as we get ready to head back to LA I believe for a final wrap from the guys in the studio Longhorns are peaking at the right time, boy. They really are. So Texas goes to eight and two. It's seven and three, the record now for Les Miles and the Cowboys. You can't blame the backups. They'd like to get one more snap in there. Well, they get it off in time. 
Just barely. Doesn't make any difference, though. That'll do it. Four straight wins for Mac Brown and the Longhorns, Joel. That's 48 unanswered points with this one, and they beat Oklahoma State convincingly, 55 to 16. Vince Young, the catalyst. Cedric Benson, phenomenal again, and especially Roy Williams on the outside. There's a couple of class individuals right there, Les Miles and Mac Brown. And there is a couple of dynamic, incredible athletes, Roy Williams and Vince Young. Wow. It's going to be a test next week, let's face it. Texas Tech, offensively, they can go with anybody. Simmons can throw the football. So now, the spotlight, as we get ready for next Saturday night in Austin, it's going to be on the secondary and Nathan Basher. And the best defense against Texas Tech is Texas's running game to keep them on the sideline. If Texas can run the ball, control the clock, and keep Texas Tech on the sideline with their offensive helmets under their arms, uh, I'll tell you, Carl Reese and his defensive troops would be forever thankful to the offense. An unforgettable night for junior fullback Will Matthews out of Austin's Westwood High School. How many times does a fullback get to say, I had three touchdowns in the game? That was the case. That's big. First and ten provided by PVI Virtual Media Services, LLC. I'm Joel Myers from Dave Lapp and Jim Knox. Thanks for joining us. It was a blowout for the Longhorns tonight in cold, damp Stillwater, Oklahoma. 55-16 Texas. This has been a presentation of Fox Sports Net. So long, everybody. Mac Brown can celebrate on the trip home with his Longhorns. They were convincing on their way to a top-ten ranking.